Orange is the worst flavoring known to man. I think orange <laughs> is like- What? Are you strawberry? learning from Australian sarcasm or no, are no, you no, like no, actually no. serious? What's up lads? Welcome to another episode of the Trash Taste Podcast. I'm your boy Joey and I'm with my other two boys, Gant and Connor. Oh. We are back in Japan. Where are we right now? We're what back is in this Japan. place? <laughs> Where are we? You know what's scary? I realized just today that it's been three months since we've recorded here. Yeah. Has it actually? Yeah, no. the last time we oh filmed, God. which was the Goodbye Japan episode, I think was like mid-May that we recorded that. Well, the last right. time we recorded a Trash Taste podcast episode is like June something. Yeah, so yeah, it's been it was, a month. in LA, right, that yeah. we last recorded. Yeah, it's been, a, it's, it's been over a month since we recorded our last Trash Taste. It's been yeah. three months since we were here. Yeah. So uh, I don't know how to podcast. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I guess welcome back to the Japan studio, guys. Hey. Uh, the LA arc is not over yet. We just thought you guys might just miss just the three of us. Yeah, have a bit okay. of a breather. So, yeah, we're, we're gonna have a little bit of a breather mm -hmm. and just come back with just the three of us because we haven't actually been able to talk about anything that we've done abroad yet. Let's sure. talk. <clears throat> sure. Let's let's talk. Yeah. But uh, as you guys can see from the title of this episode, uh, the first topic we're going to be talking about is our tour. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we've announced it now. Tickets are on sale, but mm. I know there's been a lot of questions that's been up in the air. Yep. Uh, just because we haven't really been able to talk much about it on the podcast because mm. we've been busy on a different tour. Mm. Uh, mm. But yes, we will be touring North America, even though it's just like all of America and then one show in Canada. In Canada yeah. It's North America, guys. It's North America. The Canadians are like, yeah. <laughs> I, I know a lot of people asked. Uh, oh, okay, there's been a ton of questions about the tour. Yeah, yeah. like a lot of people are like, because to be fair, we haven't been very good at explaining what's yes. happening. Yes. Uh, the first one was why not other locations? Uh, well, <laughs> the main reason we chose America, I think, is because uh, it just made sense and, and yeah. it was easier. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, also uh, logistics and most more importantly, visas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Visas is a massive headache. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you want to go to a like a Southeast Asia tour or a Europe tour, um, we would have to think way more than uh, what we would need to do in America because that's basically just one country, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. that's taken up enough resources just setting up this one tour. Because the reason we wanted to do this tour is that we've wanted to do a tour since COVID happens, right? Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, we've been planning this for about like a year or so mm -hmm. uh, as an as a back burner idea. And then suddenly the world opened up and we were just like, guys, we're gonna do it now. We're gonna do it now. We don't Slide know. On yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> not, yeah. not knowing that we kind of slid this tour in on possibly like already the busiest year of our lives. Oh no, it's yeah. absolutely the busiest year of yeah, our yeah, lives. Exactly, yeah, exactly. For sure. Exactly. But like, yeah, I guess the other reason as well, like we chose America specifically, cause it's like, it's kind of on brand for trash taste. You know, yeah. like if you've been on uh, our After Dark yeah. streams, especially, uh, which by the way, you totally should if you haven't, then uh, we, uh, we like to talk about America a lot. Listen, we, we, <laughs> it's obvious we're, obvious we're obsessed with America. So yes. we don't fucking yeah. shut up about it. But also our biggest audience is in America. Yeah. So this just yeah. made the most sense really. And you know- We we'll, hate them because we, we ain't them. Yeah, we, <laughs> we hate how, we just hate that we aren't you. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I don't think we've ruled out the possibility of doing tours in future in other no, locations. No. Yeah. Is this, but like it also no promises that we'll ever do another tour No ever. promises. <laughs> no. Cause we might, we might be like, oh, no, that was, that was a lot. Yeah, we, we might fucking hate it. We don't yeah, know. Yeah. We've never, none of us have ever been on a tour before. None of us have ever been no. close to anything like no. this. Yeah. So this is new for all of us. And so we figured, you know, what better place to do it, to start it off than uh, in a place that we're hopefully a little more familiar with yeah. when it comes to yeah. our audience and stuff like that. Yeah. And, uh, you also, know. We just wanna go around all the US. None of us have ever been around like every single state. Yeah, well, yeah, no yeah. States. Not even close. Yeah. Like, so, like there's so much of America, considering how much we've shit on America, mm. there's so much of America that we've just never been to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And what are you Googling, guys? Uh, I'm Googling the exact cities that we're going to oh, be okay. going oh, to. Yeah, yeah, okay. good so idea, keep, good keep, idea. Keep, keep talking, guys. Keep I was going to say, because I saw one comment that was like, mm. it's so bullshit they talk about America because they've only been to LA. Well, fuck you. This is why I'm doing yeah. it. I'm going on all of your also, goddamn country. Also, that's absolutely not true. <laughs> I am going to all of your country so that I can say that I know your country better than you and I will talk shit about it. <laughs> How many <laughs> states have you guys been to so far? Quite a lot, actually. Yeah, yeah I, 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 feel, think, I think you guys have been to more than me. Yeah, uh, I've been to a fair amount of states actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've been to like maybe ten or fifteen. I'd say probably around that area as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because I'm sorry, Montana. What am I going to do, in Montana? <laughs> If Why some, Montana specifically? Because I've never heard anyone talk about Montana. The sorry, only sorry thing I, Dakotas. The only thing I know about Montana is Hannah, and that's it. That's <laughs> I mean, that's all you need to know. <laughs> she has done more PR for the state of Montana than anyone else. Hey, 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 Tony from Scarface. Tony, 
It's Tony Montana. Tony Montana. That's, that's true. Of, oh, it might not lie. even be from Montana. I, I don't know. That might just be a name. I, I, hate to, I, hate to, I hate to break your heart, guard. I think Hannah Montana is a little more street cred currently. Is Hannah, Hannah Montana oh, based oh, in Montana? I don't even know. I think it's Tennessee. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not Hannah, like, Tennessee, is it? It's Hannah Montana. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Which we will be going to oh, Tennessee, actually. Can you, can you fact check that? <laughs> yeah, can we fact check where yeah. is yeah. Hannah Montana based? Where is Hannah Montana from? <laughs> I but, should know this, I was obsessed. But to name all of the places that we're gonna be going, Go for it. we're gonna be going to St. Paul in okay. Minneapolis, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, oh, St. Cle- Paul, Minneapolis, that was where I was deported. Was <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, it's the comeback tour, I'm coming baby. back, baby. It's the comeback tour. I'm coming back. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Yep, uh, I've never Detroit. been to Ohio. Never been to Detroit. Uh, Detroit, Michigan, uh, mm-hmm. Toronto, Ontario, yep. uh, Boston, Massachusetts, Never Philadelphia. Been Never been there. Um, what's what's that? Sorry, Sonny. What, what Philadelphia? Yeah. Is uh, Philadelphia? No, that's I've in, uh, Philadelphia. Uh, that's in uh, uh, Pennsylvania. 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 That's it. Great city of Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. Uh, New York City, New York, Washington, D.C. <laughs> I didn't know Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't know Pennsylvania. I don't know my American states, uh, okay. unfortunately. Uh, Raleigh, uh, Rayleigh, uh, Raleigh, 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 Raleigh. Raleigh. Was it Raleigh? Is it Raleigh, Raleigh or Riley? Raleigh. Raleigh, Raleigh right? Raleigh. It's Raleigh. I'll North, find out after I North yeah, Carolina, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, North Carolina, yeah. Nashville, Tennessee, yep. Orlando, Florida, mm-hmm. Dallas, and Austin in Texas. Okay. Uh, I mean, Texas is a big state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kansas City mm-hmm. in... You got this. I know you got this. <laughs> Come on. Do you know your states? No, I don't. What's What's the initials? M O. What's oh shit? I'm, I'm, I've already failed the America geography test. Is it Montana? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what starts with M O? Montana. I know that one. Gonna save us. Save I actually us. don't know this one. Wait, M O is uh. Come on, we got this. We got this. M O. I thought Kansas City was in Kansas. <laughs> yeah, same same But it's not. I found out today that Kansas is not a state. So it's- uh... No, Kansas is a state. But Kansas City is Missouri. not in Kansas. Missouri. Missouri. That's- why? Okay, Missouri, sort that out, mate. Wait, hold oh, on. Wait, no, Kansas wait, City- wait, yeah, no, it can't be MI because Michigan. That's why. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, fucking yeah, forgot yeah, yeah. about Kansas Missouri. Kansas City, okay, hold on. Let's get this straight. So Kansas City is not in Kansas. How does that make sense? It's, no, because there is a Kansas City in Kansas, I'm pretty sure as well. Oh, so there's two Kansas cities. Well, it's, it's like how there's like a, b- a billion Londons. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> you're- Guys, guys, we haven't even started the yeah, talk yet. Yeah, we're already also, complaining. Kansas, we're already complaining. Kansas, I, I, so K- Missouri is like right next to Kansas. Yes. I, I, think, yeah. I think Kansas City is literally like 10 minute fucking drive. Oh, Kansas. really? I think I, uh, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm being hyperbolic. It's yeah. very close. Missouri is like, that's ours now. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think they were like, let's just take that over. We got Denver, Colorado, yep. Salt, Lake, uh, Salt Lake City. Salt Lake. Salt Lake. <laughs> Salt, Salt Lake. Flake, if you don't come to the city. <laughs> Salt Lake City in Utah, mm-hmm. Phoenix, Arizona, LA, San Francisco in California, yep. uh, Seattle in Washington, and Portland, Oregon. Nice. That's- See, I haven't been to most of those places. Yeah, I've, 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 I've always wanted to go. I, I, it's been like a dream of mine to always just go around the US anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. As a kid, I, I, think, I think that's part of the reason why we wanted to do this tour, mm, which was yeah. it's a reason for us to go to all the places we wanted to go in the US mm, and mm. we've just never had the opportunity uh, to go yeah. to before. Hold on, I think we're getting breaking news. Where is Hannah Montana from? The, oh, wow, you I got know it. my shit. Oh. I know my shit. <laughs> Wait, you know, bigger question. Why is Hannah Montana called Hannah Montana? Why is it not Hannah Tennessee? Because it doesn't, Hannah Tennessee doesn't rhyme. Well then base yeah. it on Montana. Yeah. What yeah. the fuck? Well, I, yeah, I, what the fuck TV you know producers? But uh, yeah, no, as Gon was saying, like it's a great excuse for us to actually go around America. And I feel like we'll actually be able to, on this tour, we'll be able to get kind of a more, I guess, in-depth look into America as yeah. well, because we'll actually be on a tour bus, which yep. yeah. I'm really excited for. Yeah, as, as like someone who's like super into like rock music and stuff, and just like seeing rock bands go on like tour buses and stuff, I'm like, I want that. I think I'm I I think I'm excited for the idea of a tour of a tour bus. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm not. I, yeah, I heard that you're not allowed to poop on it, so yeah, I'm already yeah. kind of disappointed because I like to have bowel movements. Oh, well, it's uh, th- five fan. weeks of constipation then, boys. Yeah, because I've seen pictures and basically we're just gonna be in bunk beds for yeah. an entire- in closed bunk beds. Yeah, closed bunk beds for an entire two months. We're basically gonna be astronauts. That sounds fun. Yeah, we're basically just gonna be in a space shuttle for like a month, right? <clears throat> yeah, doesn't that sound cool? Mm. 
I mean, it's gonna be a real test of our friendship. I mean, these guys are cool. <laughs> I, I, I love these guys. I love these guys, but I, I don't know how I'm going to be after sitting with them for like, what was it? Five weeks? We're touring for five yeah. weeks in a cramped little bus. So. I, think, uh, I think like Aaron was especially saying um, that like, definitely what makes a tour bus experience the best is if you have like a tour family, quote unquote, which is like, you know, like all of the other like producers and like tour people who are coming on with you. Like if you can vibe with them, yeah. then it makes the tour bus experience a million times better. Mm. Right. So right. fingers crossed, we have a nice tour family. <laughs> Otherwise we're going to be at each other's throats. But um, yeah, I mean, I guess like, you know, because we chose the tour bus experience, I think because it's, you know, for one, I feel like you get to see more of America. Yeah. You know, because we're going to be driving from, you know, city to city and stuff like that. Whereas like, I don't know. If you fly, you, I feel like you miss a lot of what yeah. goes on in between, you know? Yeah, I mean. exactly. Because it's kind of like, there, there are some places where people say they visited, but you've, uh, but really they've just visited like the airport. Right. You know, and right. I don't really count that. Or you like visited the city. You know? Yeah. But yeah. like you haven't really like actually seen outside of the cities of America and you know. Yeah. We're talking about America. There's a yeah. lot of outside the city of and America. Let's be honest, guys. We're trash taste. We're here to make America content, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're here to get the stories. It's true. Uh, I mean, I, we will I, be vlogging the entire thing as well. So you yeah. guys who aren't attending the tour will you know, still get something out of mm. it, hopefully. I think a lot of America is very similar though. Like Americans like mm. to pretend like it's very diverse, but if you look right. at like any pictures of any road in America, yeah. they all look exactly the same. Oh, so, so, save it, save it. Okay, yeah. because because, because the, we can we, we will be able to f confirm that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. I'm just saying this now. Yeah. We'll yeah, see yeah. if I still feel this way. So, yeah. see, so, yeah. Keep the bar low so yeah. that when cool things do happen, we can be like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure wow, it's not different. Listen, I'm sure there'll be cool stuff along the way. I'm yeah, excited yeah, yeah. to see like these just monstrosity gas stations that are massive <laughs> in like the middle of the highway. Yeah. Because I've seen some of them. Some of them like yeah. dentist office. Yeah. yeah. In the middle of like, Gas stop. <laughs> it's insane. Do you think people are going to still be complaining about gas prices by the time we get there? Yeah, that's how. That's how. I, I hope it is because otherwise, I don't know how to talk to people in the US. <laughs> that's that's my opening line every single time. <laughs> the it ultimate works. icebreaker. It's, 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 it's the life hack. Time. It's yeah. the America life hack. If you want to start a conversation, you just talk about gas prices. Yeah. It really works every single time. And they're like, yeah. "Oh, thank God, he's on my side." <laughs> but yeah, I guess uh, the other thing as well for you guys who have potentially already bought tickets or are thinking about buying tickets mm. uh, is, uh, you know, what we're going to be doing. What can you? For these what, shows? what can you expect? What can you expect? Ooh. And yeah. you know, obviously we don't want to give too much away because we wanted to, you know, keep an element of surprise for you guys who are actually coming on tour. But um, let's just say it won't just be this. It won't just be us Yeah, it's not, it's not just a talk show. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not a live podcast, yeah. If, yeah. Uh, if that's what you were thinking. If well, you've there will seen, be some of that. There will that, be a little yes. bit of talking. Yes, definitely. Just, just a little bit of talking. Mm -hmm. But if you were expecting some of the panels that you might've seen get leaked online from like us at like AX mm -hmm. or us at like any other conventions that we've been to in the past few months, mm -hmm. it's yeah. going to be a bit more of like, it's going to be a bit of that, but more crowd interactions and more yep. bringing what you know trash taste for onto a live stage. Yes. And as much opportunity, uh, as much opportunity to get you guys involved mm. with mm. Uh, some of the shit that we get up to on stage. Yeah. So you well. guys won't merely just be sitting in the crowd, you know, hopefully laughing to our shit jokes. Like you yeah. guys will actually be involved with the show. Yeah. There'll, there'll be uh, some segments where a lot of viewer interaction yeah, uh, will absolutely. be required. And it should lead for some interesting results because yeah. you know, we're doing this show a lot of, you know, we're gonna be doing this 20 times. Yeah. We want it to be different every time. Yeah. yeah. So one of the main reasons that we, we decided all right, we wanna get as much viewer interaction as possible mm. is that, all right, we want to make it so that we don't get bored of doing. Yeah, yeah. And that every single show is different, but yeah. also it can, it can we can try and like <clears throat> suss out some of the segments. We can be like, hmm, I wonder if I do this the next time. It'll, it'll. Yeah, it'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It'll, it'll kind of be like a, a, a growing thing for yeah. us as well with every show as well. So yeah. I, I did see a lot of people in the comments and stuff like that being like, oh, are they just going to like talk on stage for an no, hour? No, no, short no, answer no. is no. It'll, yeah. it'll be a lot more than that. Yeah. Basically, if you've heard some of our takes or some of the shit that we've said, and you've ever wanted to clown on us in real life, yeah. this is probably the closest Peak you're ever this is the, this is this is the closest you're ever going to get because we're going to give you that opportunity yeah and that, that's that's all i'll say about that yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. yeah i saw a lot of people asking were like oh what's the how long do you reckon the show is going to be mm. uh we, we still haven't like 100 percent decided the exact timing because we haven't rehearsed it all yet no but we've yeah. been, when we've been going through it we reckon it'll be around i don't know like hour 45 to maybe just two under two hours, hours yeah. Like that, yeah so you know should be a good show yeah, yeah because I, I think we've been to like a few live shows in the past few months we went to uh Mogul Money Live yep. uh, at uh, Ludwig's live event yep. as well. Mm -hmm. And that definitely taught us a lot because I was thinking, man, two hours is just like a normal trash taste episode, right? I don't mm -hmm. know I don't know if that's like long enough for right. like something special, but what I've realized being in a live show is that 
you can't just pause the show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you can't like, <laughs> that's the big thing I've noticed is that you can't just pause trash taste and just go off and do your own mm -hmm. thing and then come back. Yeah. You're gonna be sitting there for the full time and there will be breaks maybe here and there, mm -hmm. but we wanna make the show as entertaining as it possible for everyone sitting down because it's not like a normal trash taste episode where you can just take breaks, you know, yeah. you, you can go to the toilet, you can just put us on the second monitor. No, we are main monitor this time. <laughs> there is no other monitor, okay? Close those tabs. There is only one tab open <laughs> and it's us. I think as well, uh, one of the other things is that, uh, fuck, I forgot what I was gonna say. And then I had the thought, <laughs> I, I, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I had it in the, the forefront of my head and then the monster thing while. threw my head off. Yeah. And I, uh, 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 I was gonna say yeah, something. Go Fuck, on. I yeah. forgot. Well, was it anything to do with the show? It was something to do with the show. Okay. And I forgot. Oh, one of the main things we, I think we went into this and, and when we planned out the show is that, because mm. we understand that not every single person who's gonna go to the show is gonna be a gigantic Trash Taste fan. Yep. We have kept in mind, we just want to make a good show. We didn't try to make it of like just a complete fan service thing. Mm. It's like, if you want to just turn up, have hopefully a fun show, should be that. Yeah, yeah, so if you, you know, say for example, you're the only one in your friend group who watches and listens to Trash Taste, then there is, I, I think, I would like to think that like, we've kind of structured this show so that even if you have the bare minimum idea of who we are and what this show is, yeah, you can hopefully still enjoy yourself. Oh yeah, you should be yeah. able to. Yeah, so you can it's... bring a plus one, you know, you can bring your friend who has maybe not, doesn't know anything about us and be like, you want to go watch three idiots on stage, talk about some shit and do some fun stuff. That's totally mm. what it's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we wanted, we wanted this to be as newbie friendly as possible, like all our content. Mm -hmm. uh, we just wanted to, I, I guess like, we just wanted it to be, this is kind of like Trash Taster's final form. It's like taking everything <laughs> that we've learned from the podcast, from After Dark, yeah. from touring around. Ultra doing, Instinct Trash yeah, Taste. Yeah, this is Ultra <laughs> Instinct Trash Taste. We are taking Trash Taste and we are just cutting off all the fat and we're condensing everything that you love about Trash Taste into mm. this one show. Yeah. Mm. Um, and, if, and on top of that, we got exclusive merch for it as well, right? Yeah, we do. There is stuff that you can get uh, at the shows and oh, yeah. only at the shows. Um, this is, you know, you guys have been asking, you know, when's the next merch drop and stuff like that, which we greatly appreciate. Uh, so for you guys who are going to the tour uh, at every location, we will be selling exclusive Trash Taste <coughs> merch yeah. uh, stuff for the tour that you can only get there. And no, we will not be selling it online. So if you really want that Trash Taste merch, you better come to the shows. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say to that. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, Southeast Asians and Europeans who've been crying yeah. this entire time. Yes, well, yes. We, we might release something online during that time, maybe, who yeah, knows, yeah. but no promises. Um, but yeah, no, for no, the- yeah, yeah, go for it. No, no, but uh, all I was saying was that, you know, hopefully this will be an event that you guys, you know, even if it doesn't matter if you watched us from day one or you just found us found, found out about us last week, like hopefully everyone can enjoy the show, get involved and just <clears throat> have a good time. You yeah, know, that's and, that's all you want. And for everyone in everywhere else in the world, just mm. like kind of crying right now, not being able to come to the America show. I think for for all three of us, this mm. is kind of like a litmus test. Yes. Yeah. Um, because we do, I do want to travel to more places. I do yeah. want to travel mm. to more places across the world. I mean, I'd want to travel to our home cities, home countries, go and yeah. represent our own mm. fucking regions, yeah. right? Exactly, exactly. Um, I think we are kind of using this tour as a barometer, not only for how Bar financial- Bar Barometer. Bar barometer. Bar barometer. Bar barometer. Bar barometer. Bar barometer. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're using it as, as a gauge, okay? Okay, as, okay? As a gauge, not only to see how much it affects our mental well being <laughs> doing a tour this intensive, yeah. uh, but just seeing if this is financially viable to uh, pursue visas and mm. all the logistics in other places that might be more difficult as mm. well. Mm. Um, so, you know, Americans, please show up because you might give the chance to uh, other people from around the world to be able to experience what you're experiencing as well. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think that's basically everything we want to like, kind of like spoiler. For so the show, right? if you're watching uh, this episode right now and you were kind of on the fence of whether you want to come to the show or not, then yeah, uh, yeah trashtastetour.com. Yeah, a lot of them are already sold out. Yes. Uh, I believe LA is sold out. Yep. Uh, San Francisco is sold out. Orlando, I think. Florida. Orlando, a lot of the Florida really is sold, sold out. Sold New out. York is sold out. Mm. Uh, at the time of recording, Toronto is just about to sell out. Mm. So is Seattle. Yeah. Um, and there's very limited tickets for uh, Minneapolis and Chicago. Yeah. Sorry, St. Paul's and Chicago. Yeah. Um, and a lot of them are filling up fast. So, yeah. get, so get them while you have the opportunity yeah. because they Absolutely. are- 
by the time this release, a few more cities might have sold out. So yeah, we, yeah. we don't actually know. So don't wait, don't hesitate. The tickets will probably go out of stock at some point. So, yeah. you know, yeah. Fuck, yeah. fuck that up. I can't. <laughs> out of don't stock. hesitate. Just buy the tickets. <laughs> buy them now. Oh yeah, there's also a couple of cities uh, left where you can also get VIP tickets as well, where you can get yeah. a bunch of other perks, such as a one hour pre-show, which is kind of like a more intimate, I guess, panel with the three of mm -hmm. us. Yeah, kind of like more of a Q&A. Uh, yeah. yeah. And also some other exclusive merch that only VIPs can get as well. So if you yeah. were also wondering about that, those are going a lot faster as well. So if you want to get on those, you should probably get on those as soon as you can. Yeah. Either way, yeah, trashtastetour.com. Links in the description. Uh, yeah. Please come and see us live. Yeah. Uh, we, we promise- We want to come see your faces. Yeah, we want to, we, we want to we, interact we, with you in the We promise crowd. we will put on a good show for you yeah. guys. How yeah. are you guys feeling about it? Are you, it's like- I'm, I'm like 50% excited, 50% scared. Yeah. I, I yeah. just kind of think once we've- done the first show, I'll know how I'm going to feel. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right. Just kind of hope it goes well. So St. Yeah, Paul, please treat I, us well. Yeah, St. <laughs> Paul, you guys are setting the standards, man. Please, please don't tilt please, us. Please. <laughs> too much, too much. No, because like, this is one of those things where we all agreed to it like very early on. Okay, we're going to do this. Mm. And I think especially looking at our tour schedule and tour like, our, our schedule and breaking down logistics and what we're gonna do on tour. I went from, yeah, this is a great idea to like, holy shit, this is That's fucking a lot of work. terrifying. Yeah. And now, especially we've just come back from traveling for about two and a half months. Mm. I'm already fucking knackered from traveling, right? True, <laughs> true. I yeah. think uh, regardless of whether this tour does well or not, and if we decide to do future tours, uh, it's yeah. probably not gonna happen for a while because I'm just- Or well, not all, this year at least. At least not this year, yeah. because all three of us uh, it's not even possible to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. all three of us are definitely absolutely fucking knackered <laughs> yeah. from touring already, or just not touring, but like traveling, I yeah, guess, yeah. Uh, you know, which we can talk about because it's been uh, a while since we while. fucking talked. Yeah, mm. it has. Well, it's not been a while since we've talked. It's been a while well, since- It's been a while since <laughs> we talked about what we did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what we did. This episode is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Lads, watching Netflix without using ExpressVPN is kind of like going to a Taylor Swift concert, but only being able to watch the opening act. <gasps> and, and let me just say, why would why would anyone want to do that? Why would you do that? Well, you see, gentlemen, that's exactly what Netflix does. Netflix has different content libraries for every country, which means even though Netflix has thousands of shows, without a VPN, you can only get access to a fraction of the shows that are available. With ExpressVPN, you can control where Netflix or other streaming sites think that you're streaming from. Connor, what have you been watching on Netflix recently? Well, I've been in a real angry mood, so I wanted to watch Brad Pitt's Fight Club. But Ooh. unfortunately, it's only available on the UK Netflix. What? So I have to do something that nobody wants to do and return to the UK just to watch it. <laughs> but thanks to ExpressVPN, I don't have to go back. I can oh. just change oh. my location. Thank with God. Click of a button. Thank, Thank God. God. So don't be stupid. Be smart. Stop paying full price for streaming services and only getting access to a fraction of their content. Get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash trash taste. That's expressvpn.com slash trash taste to get an extra three months for free. Don't. Back to the episode. Yeah, it's like yeah, a movie. Yeah, because what we did. we've been traveling. I think for like how long have you guys been traveling? Because I've been traveling for like almost three months. I don't really right, count right. the week I was back. I, I was away. traveling. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, right, I get right, it. You've been right. traveling. All right, yeah, big boy. Yeah, right, I was traveling right. for a little over two months. I think I was just under two months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Either way, it's too way long. too long. Too long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because one thing I think I've realized is that we try to like like test a lot of little things to see if this tour would be possible. Mm. One thing was this intense travel schedule that we had over the past three months to be like, can we do this without going insane? Well, it definitely fucking burnt, not, not burned me up, but it definitely took a toll, but it didn't make me go insane. That's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. And also we, did uh, we announced the road trip special as well. Oh yes, yeah. yes we did. So we have spent a week, an intensive week with each other in the same car. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> that, that, that was a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that, that trip, was that nine days was it? That was, including travel was 10 days. Yeah, 10, 10 whole days. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that'll be out by the end of October. Yes. So that'll be fun. Yes. And uh, it should be a big boy long special. That would yeah. be a big boy long special. Yeah. So we've already got a taste. My nickname. Yeah. Big boy long special. That's what the ladies call me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we've already got a taste of what it's like to be with these boys for like 10 days, mm. not yeah. being able to go anywhere. That was worse though, because the car was tiny. That's yeah. true. At That's least true. the bus, we can, you know, oh, walk the, around yeah, and we have yeah. at least our own private quarters, but yeah. I guess, I guess we should talk about the special after it's come out. We can yeah. more true. reflective on true. it. Yeah. But, Just uh, look forward to it. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a good one. Yeah. Good. I'm, I'm hoping that my car sickness is better 
on a bus. It is on right? a bus. It yeah, is oh, on, in a, bus. on a bus, definitely, yeah. <clears throat> right, right. Because yeah. you're in a fucking freight train equivalent of a car. Like, yeah. you're, you're moving in a building as opposed <laughs> yeah. to moving in like a car that, you know, because when you're in a tiny car, the back of the car gets fucked with suspension. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. Woo, 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 woo. like, like it's, you, you get like thrown around, but on a bus, it's so big. Do you yeah, get motion happen. sickness on a train? No. Oh, oh then you I should be good. Okay, because I remember like, I, I remember on the, on the road trip, there was like a lot of downtime in the car and I was like, I could read manga or watch anime or, play games and I like got read one chapter of a manga and I'm like, okay, no, yeah. no, <laughs> can't do that. And basically it was just a lot of, a lot of me just listening to fucking music and uh, kind yeah. of just yeah. dulling out. And Pretty I, much. I wish I could do more. And I think that's why it felt so exhausting just because I mm. wanted to do more stuff on the car mm. just to like chill out. But I hopefully can do that on the tour bus. I, I think normally, you normally will, on, yeah. on like a tour bus, there's like communal space. There's mm. like tables and stuff. Yeah. Whereas in the car, it's like, Whatever can fit on your lap is technically the table. Yep. So that that yeah. also makes you just not want to work or do anything. Yeah. You're like, yeah. I, I just, I'm not comfortable. This is awful. The same yeah. thing on a plane, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's like economy where you're like, I'm going to work. And then you realize your laptop doesn't even open up fully. Yeah. Like, because you can't even like actually get 90 degrees because the chair- Especially like if the chair in front of you is leaned all the way back. Yeah. It's just like- Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Oh, dude, the, the, I, I've got to say the worst flight I've ever been on mm. was the was the LA to Miami flight. At like oh, was the red eye flight. Oh, the economy flight. Yeah, it was fucking awful. Oh, yeah, because uh, yeah. like the moment the the flight hadn't even taken off, and you know you can't even like move. Uh, sorry, we got one on the like a uh, a, a detour here. No, 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 no. Like, no, no. Well. Welcome back to trash days. So, yeah, so <laughs> obviously we went on like a billion flights. Yeah, and so we got the red eye flight from LA to Miami, mm -hmm. and normally when you're on a flight. People wait until the plane is like in the air and the seatbelt thing's gone off mm. before they recline. Yeah. Bro, not on this flight. It no. was just like immediately sat down, dude, full reclined. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be the, like this. All right, okay. I saw, I saw people as they were walking up to their seats, just grabbing the back of the seat, reclining it back and then sitting. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, just yeah. like, chill. <laughs> we have six hours on this flight. You can do it whenever. Well, it's yeah. a red eye flight, right? So yeah. I assume people were just like, th these were seasoned veterans. They're ready like, to I'm, sleep. I don't know. I'm ready to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd never been on a flight before where people, like everyone was calling right before the moment of takeoff. Yeah. And the moment the plane touched the ground, not even like a taxi or anything, Everyone's whipped out their phone and started making calls. And I was like, what the fuck is this? this is <laughs> I didn't wild. even notice that. You didn't notice that? No, because we landed in Miami at like fucking 5.30 in the morning. I'm just like struggling to open my eyes. So I just couldn't fucking see anything. Yeah. I don't know if I'm the dumb one. Mm. I probably am. Um, but I don't like stand up right away when the plane takes, like the plane lands. It and in, in America, bro, it was like a summoning salt video. <laughs> People were trying to like clip through the chairs, trying to get their luggage out right away. They'd be like holding their luggage like this just to stand up for like 10 minutes. Standing up on the first available Why? frame. <laughs> And then, I, yeah, and then I, I'm sitting on the end and I can tell this guy next to me is yeah. visibly getting annoyed that I'm not standing up. Right. Yeah. Cause we're in the back. Yeah. We're not going anywhere. Yeah. yeah. We, we literally are last to get off. The only reason I would stand up in a situation like that is if my knees are killing me, which they were on that yeah. flight because yeah. the seats were fucking tiny. So yeah. I was just like, I just need to fucking stretch out my legs. Yeah. So then I'll stand up for a bit and, you know, maybe, you know, do some exercise a little bit, but then I'll just, yeah. yeah. Fucking I, I, I don't know if I'm missing something. Like, I don't know why people stand up right away when there's, I, I, maybe, maybe, maybe they think they can just like quickly fucking go to the front. Yeah, if, you, if you're in a rush and you have a connection, I can yeah. kind of understand the, the you know the impatience. Yeah. But yeah. even then, it's like max you save a minute, max. Yeah, yeah, because you got to wait until the doors open anyway. Yeah. So you're gonna be standing up for yeah. like a good five ten minutes, right? Mm. Yeah, that like I, again that it's like you. Even if you stand up first and you're in the front, you're still not getting off until they open the goddamn doors. Like I right, get, I get that right. you want to get ready, mm. but. Mm. You you know when you can see the crowd move. It. You know it makes, when you're. It makes sense up. if you're in like premium economy and you're at the front of the. Yeah yeah yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Because you also have room then as well. True. Sure. <laughs> because, <you're laughs> no, because, because like in in economy, you can see where the line goes, and people go in order anyway. Yeah. Right. Because they even even if you're sitting down. You know, yeah. there's 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 an order to this. There's yeah. an order to this chaos. Otherwise, there isn't an asshole like ten seats back being like, out of the way, <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> no, I mean, you can't. Like, I'm yeah. sure a fight would happen. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But Definitely. even every, it doesn't matter where I've gone in the world. Everyone, every country does this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why. There's just people on the plane that stand up immediately and they're like, I'm getting on first. And at max, they save ten seconds. And I I, 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 maybe if it's just purely a, my legs hurt and I want to stand up, all right, yeah. that's totally fine. I get that. But you can tell who the the flight veterans are because they're the ones who usually just remain seated. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Lazy. <laughs> I'm lazy as fuck. I'm, I'm, if I have ten minutes left on my my Netflix thing, yeah. I'm yeah. watching that until well, I get kicked off. What, right? what, like, what does make sense is when people do this on international flights. Right, yeah. because you get up, you save your ten seconds. You're like, "Fuck yes, I've saved ten seconds." You got to wait fucking half an hour to get your bags anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make any difference. You're gonna be leaving the airport at the same time anyway. That is true. And yeah. 
And like yeah, customs sure. as well. You don't know how long that's going to be. I, I honestly just do it out of pure instinct. <laughs> like, I don't even. Stand up, right yeah, away. I don't even. I literally, Joey's like monkey see, monkey do. Yeah, uh, like, the, the, the moment the sign is gone, cat. I'm like, permission. <laughs> <laughs> I just stand up immediately. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even think about it anymore. Yeah. I think I think for me, for, for the most part, it's I do it again, not to because I want to get out of the plane quickly, mm -hmm, which yeah. I do, but I know I'm not realistically going to. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just, I need to stretch my legs. That's right, fair enough. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll allow it. Yeah, because allow like, it. because if it's, I Valid. know, because I, if I know it's taking Copium. a while, then- Copium. <laughs> because if <laughs> I- God, just go stretch my legs. <laughs> <laughs> because if I know it's taking a while, I'll just sit back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, I was too early. It's okay. like, ah, oh, damn, I missed the frame. Okay, I will say that on that one flight, it had mm. one thing that I'd never seen before. Mm. And I think that every flight should have this from now on. Mm. What? So right where the TV normally was, mm. uh, there's no TV on this on this flight, but like, mm. you know where it is, right? On yeah, the chair. yeah. So they had this thing that popped out and it was a phone holder. Oh yeah. So it would, it would, it would have your phone. You could just put your phone or iPad in this thing and it would just be like, I love it. Okay, yeah. I was because I was about to complain about one thing in every flight, which mm. is uh, now that we've flown so many times within the past few months, yeah. I've basically seen every every movie I want to see <laughs> on like the flights. Right, I kn I know the fucking catalog, I know the library. Okay, that is the most first world problem I've ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's just like some when you're traveling for business. There's no entertainment left <laughs> when when you've just watched everything. Okay, look, I've look. I, there's only so many times I can see the entire library of Harry Potter on there, yeah, and that one. One episode of fucking a HBO show, you know. <laughs> like I, I've I've wanted to load up my own season stuff. three, episode four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but on, on on like some flights where you have to like so like when you have to load up on your phone or an yeah. iPad mm. or something, you're like, oh, this is a great idea. I can just watch what I want. But unfortunately, the fucking tray tables that come out means that you have to like watch it like like yeah, at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, or or you just put your phone <laughs> flat on the table and you just watch it like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's both are horrible for your neck. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You, and, I, and I finished that fucking plane, uh, that plane fight with a fucking eighty-year-old neck, and I have to like, <laughs> you know, you know, that's. I definitely need to visit a chiropractor afterwards because you you just fuck your neck up. If your neck Motherfucker is, gets off the plane looking yeah. like shaggy. Okay, actually, 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 actually. Question, question. Yeah. What is your guys's sleeping like? What What is your sleeping position on a plane? Like, what What is how How do My you sleep? Normal position. Oh, are we talking- Wait, on like an economy? Yeah, on an economy? economy. Oh bro, I, I look like I'm about to like die. <laughs> I, I like I like kneel over, like I put my head, but like between my legs, yeah. if I can. I saw you doing that on the on the Florida I, flight. I and I'm just like, to. how the fuck is he sleeping like that? I tried to, cause like I- I thought you were throwing up. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, cause for me, I don't know why. I just, I, I cannot sleep sitting up. Right. I need right. to feel like my head is resting on something like this or like yeah. at this. I don't know. Yeah. No, no, like, I'm, I'm the same though. Maybe I'm it's the like the yeah. pressure on my head kind yeah. of makes me, I don't know why. No, I'm the same. I need to feel like like I'm leaning on either yeah, side yeah, of my yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. what I do is I take the, you know, the seat at the back, mm -hmm, like the yeah. cushion thing. Most of those cushion things, you yeah. can kind of fold the edges yeah, yeah, out right. like that. So what I do is I do that and then I kind of- Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't work for that me. Does, that doesn't work. But that's the best we've got. I got to work with what I've got, guys. The reason I ask is because I don't know what it is about planes where any other form of transportation, you mm. there's enough room to get like a decent, decent sleeping position, I think. I, yeah, I can't. A, a I, decent enough, I I'm, think. I'm like, I'm, I think I'm like wider than you. So like- <laughs> like Yo, are you calling my, yourself dummy thick? No, <laughs> like, Yo, like you my, dummy my, thick. My frame is just larger. Like you're taller, but I have like a wider frame. And I swear that's like, that, it sucks. Cause if you're tall, you can just like origami yourself into a position. Right. right. When you're wide, you're like- That's you're, not you're, how it works. That's fucking, not how it works. Fucking, my arms are gigantic, right? Fucking giant biceps, right? Obviously. You're not fucking Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger. Yeah, you're just like- <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got a dummy thick ass, right? What do you mean? No, see, because I, I have I have this dilemma, right? Of like, I need something to, I need to be leaning my face, like the sides right. of my face on something to get <laughs> even yeah. just like a, a, a tiny amount of sleep. Right. Yeah. So then you might be thinking, well, Joey, just sit on the window seat. Cause then you can just lean against the wall. No, that doesn't work. My problem is that that works, except I have the bladder the size of yeah. a peanut. And so I have to get up every like hour or two to go to pee. Right. And so I need to sit on at least the aisle seat because yeah. otherwise I just feel fucking horrible yeah. for the two other people I'm sitting mm. next to, right? So now I'm stuck in this dilemma of like, do I prioritize my bladder <laughs> or do I prioritize my sleep? <laughs> and most of the time I just prioritize my bladder. So I just have to fucking deal with this thing. Yeah. yeah. See my plane, my, my plane sleep nerf, because everyone has a plane sleep nerf, like yeah. a condition that has to be met yeah. um, is that my head needs to be like, 
beyond 45 degrees. Otherwise, <laughs> it doesn't feel like I'm actually like sleeping. Right, so right. When, when when I see people sleeping next to the window with their with their heads on the window, yeah. like I literally cannot get my head at a like a cute enough angle to like trick my brain into thinking I'm going to no, sleep. No, I understand that. I think, I think yeah. that's why I like leaning forward. Like for me, I think it's something about like the pressure on my head or like the, the way that, I don't know yeah. how the blood's flowing. <laughs> yeah. Makes me like, it, it like recreates how I, I sleep in a way. Yeah. So oh, you, no, no, I'm not. You basically go into like a coma patient. You just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so the reason why I choose the aisle or the window and I don't go for the middle is because on the, on the middle one, the only place where you can put your head, why are you laughing so much, Khan? No, I, just, I am a comatose patient, okay? I just imagine the one time, like if Connor ever gets into like a plane crash and the, and the pilot goes, everyone get into your brace position. Literally, <laughs> Connor can literally fall asleep and he'll be in the brace position I, I, already. I fall asleep in the brace position, okay? That's why I fall asleep, okay? It's comfortable, it makes sense, the reason why you're bracing it. So, uh, as I was saying before, God, like, God brutally so, laughed So, at wake me. up, wait, never mind. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Okay, I, I, I'm not offended about it. I, I, so, I lean, mm. and, and if I lean in the middle, mm. I, I can only go straight, and my head will hit the chair, yeah. and I can't get my head into the position I want, because mm. it's too close. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I can't just get it in enough, and it'll like push against my neck yeah. Yeah. If, I, if I do. So I have to do the window because the window, the thing that the they don't don't tell about the window, right? <laughs> Is that uh, there's a little gap between the window and the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I put my head in that little crevice. <laughs> so as long as the guy behind me doesn't randomly like try to tickle my head, I'm yeah. good. And I do the same thing on the aisle, but the problem is if you do it on the aisle, it's risky because if they bring the cart, they wake you up. Yeah, just yeah, knock you on the side of the head. I kind yeah, of, like, just leave my head there. Yeah. So. It, yeah. It's a, it's a gamble. Yeah, yeah. No, when I yeah. when I said oh. I when I said I lean on the window, I, I obviously meant the, the crack between the window and the seat. Because, oh, so you yeah, lean yeah. forward. Because, so same as me. No, no, no. I lean kind of back. Oh, into that crack. Yeah. Oh, you uh, lean so forward yeah. into the crack. Yeah, oh, I go to like. Oh, you lean forward into. <laughs> yeah. Man, I would not want to sit in front of you because then if I look this way, it'd just be like, God, I feel so bad. <laughs> in between the cracks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'd be horrifying. That, like, it's like, like, hey, I, I have here's to, Connor. I, I have to lean forward. No, he wouldn't even because it'd be Sleep, so just like, <laughs> <laughs> just be like, I the, need the to one. lean forward, okay? <laughs> Everyone who sits in front of Connor gets a gets a gets a viewing of The Shining. Just yeah, Connor. it's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it, it pretty much I imagine looks like that. Yeah, uh, just so they don't turn around. Like, yeah. who, how often are you looking in that fucking crevice behind you? Well, you know, if you might, you know, because sometimes if you're sitting mm -hmm. on the window seat, the you window would... can be positioned a little bit far back mm -hmm. than what is normal. So, if, you know, what if your window is like back here and then you just look over? Hey, if it's, if it's being a little embarrassed <laughs> and having a good sleep, I'll take I'll take I'll take being a good. How the yeah. fuck do you sleep like that? I, again, I don't know. I have Wouldn't to get, it make more sense to do it on the backside? I I can't like I can't sleep lying down, like like face uh, back down. Yeah, and so right. reclining the chair is just a beta version. Wait, of, how do you sleep normally? Uh, on my sides. Oh, so you can't sleep on your back? I, I, ever. I, I sleep. No, I've never been able to sleep on my back. Really? So I sleep on my side, but like I want to say. If it's my side, but yeah. my body is very much leaning towards my stomach, the facing front. the bed. Right, yeah. right, right. So right. I kind of like like this, yeah, kind of yeah, like a yeah. fucking like a I don't know like, like a cat <laughs> sleeping. Like imagine how a cat sleeps. <laughs> right. Oh, like, okay, actually, yeah, like, yeah. actually, just exactly how like a cat sleeps. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. how I sleep. Okay. Yeah, I've, 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 I've oh. tried the coma strap because there's sometimes where I can't- The coma strap? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he does look like this, the coma. You do look like you're in a coma if you like, cause I've seen people sleeping like that. The worst people. I always do it. You guys ever. always see it. Like when we go on flights, you guys always see me do it. Yeah, because I've tried that. And that's where like being tall is enough because I can never yeah, like, yeah. I can never get my body into enough of a position where, because when when I try to lean forward, yeah. this is like the this is like the most forward I can go. Right. And I, I can't even get close to like no. the tray but, table but or even, like even that. When, all right, even when, when, say for example, you do have enough space to just be able to squeeze in to lie on the tray table, yeah. my back just fucking- No, I don't, off, lie, like, I don't lie on my tray, tray table, I lie on my knees. That's even further down though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't that fuck your back up? Uh, maybe, I, I <laughs> sleep, so. Who's fucking hell, one? your knees. Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, well, I, I put my arms on my knees as a pillow. I'm, I feel I'm, more- I'm trying, to, I'm trying to imagine. I feel more worried about your back. Try it, try it. No, that would kill me. Uh, how, you can't even- No, like, the end of your knees, you're on your thighs. I'm gonna, try it, try I'm, it. I'm gonna lean back. Yeah, try it. Try it, I'm try gonna it. lean back, cause I, try I don't think I can even do this if I try Cause I've, I've, I have a couple of friends who have slept like yeah, this before. Yeah, there you go, just like that. No, my oh, back- The Shinji position. My back would- <laughs> 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 oh, It's it. the permanent Shinji. He's <laughs> like, are you asleep or depressed? <laughs> yeah, we can call I'll the, never tell. It's called the Shinji strat. <laughs> the Shinji yeah, I, I, I got to 510 and I was like, stop, stop, stop growing, stop, stop. 
<laughs> Bro, the so shit. the coma strat is a backup strat? <laughs> yeah, the coma the coma's risky. Cause like you, you're putting your head in like the crevice and you're relying on the crevice. Right, yeah. right. And you know, if they're playing shakes, it's not as not as bouncy as your bones. Right, The right. Shinji strat is only open to those under 5'10". Yeah, right. <laughs> it's yeah, very, just, it's, it's locked much. for us, it's well, locked. I, I really <laughs> discovered that the American Airlines uh, chairs are really fucking close together compared yeah. to like, cause I've done it a bunch in Japan on mm. the domestic ANA flights. Mm. And I noticed you, we, we have way more room on those domestic economy flights right, right. than the American Airlines one. Yeah. That was fucking close. Those American Airlines flights are so goddamn compact. Yeah. yeah They're not yeah. fucking around. Yeah. Any closer and I'd be kissing the puss in front of me. Yeah. Like pretty the much. back of the head. Yeah. Hope <laughs> you're having a good flight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that that red eye flight to Miami was rough. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm I'm glad we still did it because we got to do the uh, the Ludwig Beer Cart tournament. Yeah, the, yeah. So so which so was super fun. We yeah. did the Ludwig Beer Cart, which is Mario Kart Double Dash, but you can't drive. Um, but you have you to down a beer. Yeah, you have to. You, so, you can't drive. So you, can't, so <laughs> you, you can't drink and drive because that's illegal and that's yeah. bad. Yeah. But you have to down your beer either before you start driving or any point when you stop. If you, your car has to completely stop. Yeah. So right. we really wanted to do this. And uh, Ludwig said that it would start 2 p.m. and our flight was at three. Yeah. So there was no way we could do it. So we moved it to a 9 p.m. flight so we could make it. Yeah. Right. Um, but that flight was brutal. It was horrible. Yeah, because we got to Miami at, I think it was like five or 6 a.m. And then we, and that was the first day of the convention as well. So we had a signing from 1 p.m. that oh same my day. God. So we got to, luckily though, the airport and the hotel we were staying at were pretty close. It was like 20, 15, yeah. 20 minute driveway. Yeah. Uh, so we just we literally just got to yeah. Miami got to the hotel, slept for as long as yeah. we could, and then immediately headed to the con. But that was still a chill con. I enjoyed that con. Yeah, Miami was a really cool place. Yeah. I thought Miami was really beautiful, mm. um, obviously. I, I wish. I just wish we had more time to actually kind of explore Miami. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I was gonna ask, because I've never been to Florida before. Mm -hmm. um, like how was Florida in general? Did you meet Florida man? Did you meet- Luckily, no, we... luckily not, luckily not. <laughs> People were more chill in Florida than LA, I think. I feel like it was, yeah. um, The food was really good. Oh we had Cuban God, food. The it was Cuban insane. restaurant was mm. insane. Cuban food is was nutty. My God, we were so fucked up. Though. We were so full. So much. It was just so much. So much um, meat. We had uh, like Peruvian food another day, and that was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that hummus they made mm. was insane. Mm. Remember that Peruvian. So, food did you nuts. only stay there for the weekend of the convention? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, okay, we, we okay. landed on the the first day of the con, and then we left the morning oh. of the okay, day yeah, after. So. Yeah. It was good though. I mean, I, I, I'd i like to go back to Miami at some point and just be a tourist. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. But also there's a lot of old people in Miami. I did notice that. Yeah. It wasn't as young as I thought it would be, but I guess there's a lot of old people retiring. I guess, mm -hmm. yeah. So I saw a lot of 60 year old looking men that were bronze basically. <laughs> With um, with uh, with six year old just permanent women who were bronze yeah. as well, and I was like, ah, so is, just, is, this, is Miami just a glorified retirement home? That's why all the buildings are really bright. It's so that you can find the people. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I did say. But no, said, but Miami was really fun. It was like it was too oh, humid though. Oh, it's, it's like Japan. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, it was basically Japan. Don't weather. talk to me about humidity right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically what you're feeling here is what it was like in Miami. Yeah, it was too much. It was pretty yeah. brutal. Yeah, I was. I just wish I had enough time to like go to the beach or you know even go to the pool or anything. But like I didn't even have enough time to do that. I'm mean, we, we were just tired as well because we've been in LA for like a month. We were in the UK before, so I think yeah. we were just dead. Like yeah. we were just so dead. Yeah, yeah. I was fucked. Well, um, we did get the taste of LA life, guys. How did you sure. find it? Because we actually, I think. This, so what we did was you were currently in the LA arc on Trash Taste. Oh, yeah. um, and we all, what we did was we rented out an Airbnb and we used it as a studio, but also <clears throat> it was kind of like our first experience living with each other as well mm, in mm. terms of it's living like with each show. other. Sorry? It's like a Disney show. <laughs> just a just couple of friends just living with each other. Friends. <laughs> just filming some videos. <laughs> what will they get up to? <laughs> yeah, we basically just made a trash taste house, you know, yeah. because everyone in LA thought we already lived next to each other or by each other. Mm. Uh, and that wasn't the case in Japan. Fucking we live actually pretty far away from each other. Mm. Like mm. close enough that we can get to the office, but mm. not close enough where we could easily make content with each other like everyone else does in LA, it yeah. seems. Oh, yeah. I mean, we just don't live together, so. Yeah, 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 mm. exactly, exactly. Mm. Uh, yeah, and I, I thought it was a fucking, uh, a fucking blast, honestly, living no, with the boys, it, no, right? It was, it was really, really fun, but I feel it was fun because of the time limit that we yeah. had, right? Like yeah. if, if you told me, you know, 
no offense to you boys, but like this applies, I feel, with anybody. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. not like your significant other or whatever. If you lived for long enough with each other, I feel like you're going to be fucking sick of each other. Oh, and yeah. I feel that's why a lot of content houses just don't work out in the long run, right? Yeah. Because it's like, it's, it's a honeymoon period to begin with. But then the longer you're with together, you're like, yeah, I kind of value my privacy as well. You know? Yeah. I, I, I might have my own room, but it's not quite the same. I and guess. The, another thing I noticed as well is that if we did have a trash taste house, like mm. a trash taste content house, I don't think I'd get anything done. No. Because these mm. boys are distractions. Like normally, <laughs> normally- I, I just wake- want to hang out with them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Normally I go up, I, I wake up, go to my office. I'm like, great, work starting, yeah. you know, catch up to emails or something. This time I go up, go to the living room, see Malin or Jerry up and I'm like, oh, what are you, what are you up to? What are you yeah. up to? What Let's are you just up like to? have breakfast and chat for about three yeah. hours. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just things just go slower because you're talking to other people. Yeah. yeah. So Definitely. like, whereas my, maybe I get lunch and I eat it in 10 minutes and I go right back to work in yeah. my house. Yeah. Lunch becomes like an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's good though. I, I think is this is the first time I've gone to LA where I went with the like express purpose of trying to make like as much content as possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it was really fun because I, I, there was like no days where I wasn't uh, doing hanging something. out with someone or yeah, I wasn't making here. something. Mm-hmm. And so it was really satisfying because I, for, for me, it's like, I I feel like I get my battery recharged through making content. Mm. Yeah. I'm fucking addicted to making like YouTube videos or Twitch Extra streams or whatever. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> so like for me, it's like, if I'm not doing that, it's like, oh, I get like, I'm like, oh, I wanna make something. Mm. I, wanna, I, wanna, yeah. I wanna film something. Yeah. So it was like a whole month of just being creative and, and getting to perform and getting to go on stuff. It was just great. You yeah. are you are truly a shining beacon for content creators. Yeah. I, I don't know, I love it. Like, I, I, like people are like, oh, don't you get burnt out? I'm like, no, dude, I fucking love this shit. Like this is what I'm addicted to. Like, I don't know why. Like I love being on, I love on fucking shows, I love, I love doing events. Like yeah. it's fun. Yeah. It did constantly like LA did constantly feel like you were filling up a progress bar oh, or yeah, like yeah. something in mm. terms of like content or connections or projects or something. Even if even if we weren't like actively filming something every day, yeah. but even so, I still felt like I was way more distracted in LA than I would normally be at home. Yeah, I feel there were just like too many nights, especially when like most or all of us were just like hanging out for the night, where yeah. I was just like I could be in my room streaming or. Or making content, but I'd rather just go out onto the balcony and just chill with everyone. <laughs> yeah. I, there'd, yeah. there'd be so many times where I'm like, I could just set up a, like we, we had like a bare bones basic stream set up in one of the rooms. And yeah. I was like, I got time to stream, but Joey's out there chilling. Maybe, maybe I'll go chill with Joey <laughs> for a bit. And then I'll just have like a quick five minute chat yeah. and then we'll go stream. And then- the- Seven hours later. <laughs> <laughs> and then the five minute chat turns into like half an hour. Then yeah. we've got to get lunch. And then, you know, we're meeting someone in like an hour. So I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, I guess I can't stream, you know? Yeah, I yeah. would, I, my, my main channel would be non-existent yeah. if, <laughs> if we had a trash taste house, I feel. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see why there are so many streamer houses now because, yeah. you know, living your life is just fucking content at that point. Pretty much. Uh, and if you if I had to like actively go out and make the kind of content I do on my main channel, mm. that just wouldn't fucking happen if we had a trash taste house. Yeah, no. yeah these no. boys are too much fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was just very motivating though. Uh, I yeah, think yeah. I, I got very motivated motivated oh uh, yeah definitely to make more stuff and push mm. push it uh, i'll shout out to ludwig always uh the inspiration mm. yeah oh, God, he was so nice yeah i fucking love that guy yeah i yeah. just such a g i feel like he, he's my long lost american brother that i <laughs> i we've been, we've been disconnected from I, I honestly feel most if not all the like new f- and old faces we met mm. up in la were just like really really nice people yeah, yeah. in general you know and uh, yeah, no, it is true. Like I always get a, a massive kick of inspiration out of like hanging out with someone who perhaps I've never met before, but I know their content or like, you know, s- some other content creator I don't get to see or talk mm. to often. And you know, like conventions for me are the same thing as well. Just like, you know, being in a convention setting, which we were a lot this past couple of months, just like, is like, oh yeah, this this is why I do this. Like this, yeah. is, this, is, this is just motivating me to like do better for these people, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, so it was good. I, I mean, you know, I may not have been necessarily motivated while we were in LA or while we were traveling. <laughs> but after I came back to Japan, I had like fucking list of ideas. So, you know, that's, exactly. that's always good. No, same. I feel like it's important for every content creator to get their content 
battery recharged. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the best way to do that is just to hang out with other people, mm. hang, hang out with other like creative people because yep. so many ideas get thrown around and you're like, damn, all right, I can actually do this. All mm. right, I've got so many ideas now. Whereas if you're just sitting in a room, just constantly pumping out content, mm. it kind of like you just get into a grind and you get into like- It gets a, monotonous. Yeah, yeah, it does get monotonous yeah. a lot of times. And you yeah. forget why you started doing this in the first place. Mm. And one thing I will say about hanging out with so many people in LA, so many other content creators, is that it definitely gets those creative juices flowing again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, especially seeing some of the, like seeing the, what motivates me the most is seeing other people do something exciting. Yeah. Cause then right. I'm like, damn, I want to do something exciting. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, looks yeah. fucking incredible. Exactly, uh, you exactly. Know? And LA is just like the central hub of that. Mm, mm. Um, but yeah, aside from that, there were, <laughs> it was, I mean, did you guys enjoy your experience in LA overall? Oh yeah, I fucking loved it. Yeah, Me I, personally. Yeah, yeah I, I enjoyed LA, I think because of the people I got to see. Mm, you know, yeah. if, I, if I didn't get to see anyone and I was just living in LA, mm. you know, without ever interacting with other content creators, personally, no. Yeah. <laughs> just because like, I don't think the LA lifestyle necessarily meshes with me. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I fucking hate the lifestyle, but yeah. when yeah. I was there, I had like an amazing time. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and also, I mean, I, I hate, to, hate to admit it. There's some amazing food there. Oh no, the food's great. Oh, great that food. <laughs> that was some amazing, amazing. God, food. I, I must mm. have ordered the Porto's Cubano sandwich like a million fucking times. That, that shit went up. hard. Porto's was in California is yeah. nutty. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. Joe and the Juice. <laughs> Dude, yeah. yeah. No. So, so we have Joe and the Juice in the UK, right? Do we? We do. Okay. And there's one in Australia as well. Oh, is so there? It's this coffee fucking chain, and like I don't really care for their coffee, but in in the in the one in America. They sold like this sandwich that's like a spicy tuna oh. sandwich and it was so goddamn good. God, Me and I Joey just, must have eaten it like five times. I, I think I ate it like 10 times. It I, was I so was, goddamn oh, good. I froth of the mouth every time I think oh, about that sandwich. So I can't wait to go back. I know. I just, I want to go back and, just for that. And me and Joey, we had had one in LA. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you have to try this tuna sandwich. Yeah. I know yeah. you, I know you're going to love it. So he tries it he's like, this is insane. Yeah. yeah. We pull up to our hotel in, in Miami. Miami. At the bottom of the hotel is a Joe in the yeah, Juice. Literally like, the next thing over <laughs> from the hotel was a Joe and they're just and I, like, it's fate. We're like fist bump, we're like, nice. <laughs> so every morning we would just wake up and be like, coffee and tuna, spicy tuna sandwich, I got you. So good, yeah. so, so good. fucking good. I, yeah. think, I think I only had one bad meal in LA. Um, what was it? Was it the Italian? Shame them. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh was, my God. Yeah, right. dude, do you remember this? Yeah. Do you remember this? How uh, can I fucking forget this? I think, I think on like the third day or something that yeah. we all arrived together, we wanted to go to one Italian, but it was like a, it was like a Saturday. Was, uh, Book of the Beppo? We was were originally gonna go to Book of the Beppo because I fucking love it. But yeah, yeah as, as Gan was saying, it was a weekend. So we were like, uh, Book of the Beppo is probably gonna be really fucking yeah. crowded. So let's find one on the way. And then we found this uh, one Italian place. I don't even remember the it name. It was like family it. owned. And we thought, oh, that'd be that'd be good. Support local business. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and <laughs> maybe we shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> and now I regret some local Yeah, and I, I forgot like the one golden rule of like, like how to judge a restaurant, which is if it's peak time on Saturday and you go in and it's almost empty, that's that's a bit that's a okay. big red flag. That's also, also to do with this restaurant, I had been told this mm. and I come from Japan, right? If a restaurant has four stars on Google, mm. it must be good. Yeah, like, yeah exactly. Fucking good. Exactly. Yeah. Apparently in America, if it's not higher than four point five, it's dog shit, is what I've been told. Really? That, is that's it? what I was told. Is it the four point five? Four point five is apparently the like if it's higher than that, it's you can you know it's good. Right. Right. Don't, maybe Americans are just nicer. Do people just rate in America four stars if the food is edible? I, I, I don't know. So do you remember when we got there? Like yeah. the, so we got absolutely scammed right away. Oh yeah. Right? So- <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh, so, it's all coming back. So we pull up into this restaurant, right? And there's clear parking spots, right? Yeah. So, and there's valet though, there's valet parking. Right. No yeah. one is here. No. no one is in this restaurant. There's maybe yeah. like two we, we, cars. We should have turned back at this point, honestly. Yeah. yeah. So we go in the, we got to start parking our car. And this guy comes over and he knocks on the window. He's like, oh, uh, valet service, $8. And we, 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 I think we misunderstood that he, we thought that he was like, oh, you have to pay. Right, right. But I think it was offering it. Yeah. So we were like, oh, okay. So then we get out the car, hand him the $8. And he literally just continues backing it up into the spot. <laughs> And then gets out and ha and is like, all right, there you go. He was, he was probably in the car for about eight ten seconds, seconds. Ten seconds, like tops. ten seconds tops. That man got the biggest conversion of time to to payment in known in history. It's like those memes of like Bill Gates when he drops a hundred dollars on the floor. It's like it was literally the car was basically parked, and then he just went. 
Yeah. That's it. <laughs> and I couldn't believe this man took our money. I couldn't believe he was still willing to Eight take the money. Eight whole dollars for that. I'm like, only in, only in the US. I'm like, if this happened in the UK, fists would be thrown. Yeah. If you tried to get the $8 <laughs> off of me, it just wouldn't work. We, and that's why we don't have valet parking. But that wasn't, that wasn't the only thing about yeah. this yeah. Italian yeah. restaurant. But that, that, that set the tone. Yeah, that, that definitely that, set that the tone. Like, it was yeah. all like, that it was, was a red flag. I, I, I think all of us were just like, we, we all stood there and we were just like, we just got robbed. Yeah. yeah. We, 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 this is like daily like robbery. I can't believe he's done this. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Yeah. So yeah, we uh, immediately go into this restaurant after losing $8. Yeah. Um, and then afterwards we go in and it looks pretty, it looks like a pretty decent restaurant. Um, and so- Sorry, no, can what? I say something? Yeah, can I interrupt on. you? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I don't like it when restaurants do this. And I, this is just for me preference. I understand that other people don't care. If I'm in an Italian restaurant and you're trying to like set an ambiance, don't fucking play an MB MLB game in the corner on a giant monitor. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> to me, it's like, that's not, the Italian vibes are ruined. <laughs> but there was just like two giant sports games and they were just playing the audio. And I'm like- Also, there was a very American looking bar in the middle. Yeah. Well. yeah. yeah. I mean, that's fine. I don't care about the bar being in the middle. Right. I, I just, it's like, you, are, think, you, are you I, trying I to set a mood? I, like, think it's, I think it's the bar in combination with the MLB on the screen that just made it very non-Italian. Yeah, it was like yeah. two giant, like 50 inches on the wall yeah. blasting this audio and you're just like eating your thing and you say, and that's a strike and that's a one. Uh, <laughs> thank you, do I add read? And it's just like, ah, oh, this is just like, what? Am I, am I crazy? Like, is this weird? This is weird, right? <laughs> Yeah. So no, I, I get you, I get you. Because I, like, I don't like that in restaurants either, where they yeah. play a game or something like that. Okay, yeah, at a bar. Okay, I get it, I get yeah, it. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a bar. Like, yeah, yeah. There's a time and a place. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a bar, it's a bar. Mm. This is this was a restaurant, you know. I, w I would prefer to, you know, just have some music and uh, just have yeah. that set. The if you went on a yeah. date there, you would look bad. <clears throat> oh, what yes. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. The ambiance would already make it look, you're in a rough spot. This food yeah. better, better fucking yeah. make up yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, like everyone ordered their food. And of course, of course, I was like, I gotta try the lasagna. All right, all right. Because yeah. I, I think that's my default thing I order at every Italian restaurant. That's mm. like, that's how I gauge how good the rest of the Italian yeah. food is, right? Because right. you, you'd have to, to like try, an Italian would have to try really hard to fuck up a lasagna. Sure. Because there are way more like complicated dishes mm. in yeah. the Italian cuisine. Mm. So I always ordered lasagna. Um, and then- <laughs> I will say the guy did look a bit panicked when you ordered the lasagna. He was like, <laughs> you, okay. He's like, oh, that one? Oh, yeah, wow. he was like, oh, you're ordering that one? I was like, it's been a while since I've had, since I've had lasagna. Yeah. And of course it, it comes out. And it's it probably looks, been an order. It's been, yeah. probably been a while since they ordered a lasagna. Yeah. yeah, it comes out and I'm just like, oh, that looks, that looks a little soggy. <laughs> that looks like a little bit of yeah. a soggy lasagna. So it was it was something like what twenty something dollars. Yes, yeah, like twenty. 20 it, was like this, but it wasn't like a giant piece either. It no, was like no, no. Normal size. It was like a lasagna. twenty-eight. Like, but like all the dishes in that restaurant were about like yeah, they're all at least twenty dollars. Twenty-eight dollars. It's quite a lot of money. Yeah. It's, a, it's a lot of money. Um, and I like. I put my fork into it and it just fucking, this, this pasta just disintegrates, <laughs> right? This, this thing wasn't made out of pasta. It was made yeah, out of air. Yeah. And, and I'm like, I've never seen pasta so soft in my life. Yeah. And I take, a, I, I take like my first bite and yeah. you know when you can immediately, immediately tell that you're just gonna have like <laughs> the worst meal of your life. Yeah. So- God looks so disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> everyone, everyone was like staring at me cause I, cause they were so excited. Cause like, oh, go on order lasagna. Let's see, let's see what he thinks about yeah. it. I take one spoonful. I think my face conveyed everything that needed yeah. to be conveyed. I wish I had taken a photo of the face that you had made. <laughs> cause it was like, if you looked up disappointment in the dictionary, that was the face yeah. that would have popped up. <laughs> because the first bite, first of all, the pasta was soggy. All of it was soggy. Yeah. It somehow, even though the pasta, even though the lasagna was like full of tomato sauce, somehow they've made tomato taste nothing. Taste of nothing. <laughs> like I don't know how you make tomato taste of nothing because it, it was, just it was cold on the inside, right as well. And and it was cold. it was so obviously microwaved yeah. as well because the hot the outside was super super hot, but then the inside was lukewarm, oh. and I was just like, this is to this the, is yeah. To the restaurant's credit, my dish was actually pretty good, decent. I think my, I ordered like a. a a lamb pasta. It was pretty good, actually. Yeah, I, I, had like a, I had like a gnocchi, I think, which was like, it wasn't the best gnocchi I've had, but it was, it was mm -hmm. decent. I, I know you said you, you get lasagna to see if the restaurant's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel in my mind, if I get the calamari, that's how I can normally tell. Because the calamari mm -hmm. is one of those dishes mm -hmm. where it's, it's really easy to buy it frozen yeah. and just deep, like just chuck it in the fucking deep fryer yeah. and yeah. just call it a day. But like, if they actually care, you can tell that it's, it's fresh and it's mm -hmm. not fucking rubbery. 
and then you know it's everything else could be good because that, that's a yeah. very yeah. specific thing that you'd have to go out of your way to make sure it's fresh. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But I mean, no, it was bad. I mean, like one, one, <laughs> it wasn't worth the money. It was yeah. just too expensive. It was so expensive. It was, yeah, it was definitely. I mean, the gnocchi was like decent, but I would not pay the amount I paid for for yeah. it again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like one one of my biggest pet peeves when I go to a restaurant is that I like as someone who grew up in like the whole restaurateur kind of like area, you do you sh if you can't make a good dish. Don't put it on the menu. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm. Like there are some restaurants I go to where they give you the menu and it's just the entire history of your country's cuisine. And I'm like, there is <laughs> there is no fucking way you can cook all of these dishes <laughs> at, at like a good kind of standard. No, you can't, no, you can't. There, you can't. It's literally- 200 <laughs> items on the menu. <laughs> yeah. It's like, are you sure? Like, yeah. yeah, look, I get it. If there's that one guy who comes to your fucking restaurant and he's just like, oh, why, why don't you have this dish that everyone yeah. else has? You yeah. know, I'm just like, you know, fuck, fuck that shit, you know, just, yeah. just Serve good, just serve the dishes that you know you can cook really, really well. Yeah. Five to 10 items I feel is like, I feel a, a good middle ground because it's like, you know- Mains? Yeah, mains. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like five to 10 mains I think is like the good middle ground because it's like, you know, those five to 10 mains yeah. are gonna slap. We, yeah. we went to another Italian place that was really good around yeah. the same price and mm. it was amazing. Oh it yeah, was yeah. so good. And oh it, it yeah, was, the one we went to with uh, Ludwig. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was yeah, amazing. Yeah. And it was, was awesome. I think it was around the same prices for like everything. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I thought, wow, okay. Well, so it isn't just like I'm I'm being cheap. It's like, no, these are the same prices. We just got ripped off in this one place. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, that's exactly. how it is. And that made me understand more like when I went to more independent uh, restaurants and more uh, coffee places, a lot of the time I kind of understand why a lot of people just want that familiarity of a chain where mm. you know what you get. Because yeah. it's such a gamble in the US. Oh yeah. Like, well, it's yeah. a gamble everywhere. Yeah, but like in Japan, you like, you, you, you gotta go be to, pretty unlucky well, in Japan. Like you talk about the US being a gamble. Let's talk about the fucking UK. Yeah, the UK is the same. <laughs> this is the same though. This is why like restaurants in the UK like and, and cafes, like a lot of the independent ones struggle yeah. because a lot, of, a lot of people just don't, like they want that familiarity. Right. Yeah. And they want like, you know, when you go to a, a fucking Wendy's, you know exactly what you're getting. Sure. Yeah. Whereas if I go out of my way, I, I take a date, I pay a shit ton of money and I get half ass meal pasta. I'm like, fuck, I should've just gone to Olive Garden. Like yeah. I know what I would've got. Yeah. Yeah, cause we, we, we talked about the US having like the 4.5 Google reviews mm. kind of meta. The UK just doesn't have a meta when it comes to Google reviews. <sighs> yeah. You just like, people in the UK don't know how to review food. No. That's, just, that's just the end or be all. The I've, water was not spicy, five stars. <laughs> <laughs> because I've, I've been to restaurants in the UK that's like 4.7, 4.8. I'm like, okay, this place must absolutely slap. And yeah. it's, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. It's like really? there, there are some places that are absolutely. Can't come awful. in like the ratatouille critic. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm about to end this restaurant's career. Hold, hold my pen. Oh to my be God. fair, to be fair, I've like in recent years, especially this trip, I have discovered way more decent restaurants in the UK that I that I that I did than before I moved out of the UK. Right. I think there, I think the UK have just definitely up their restaurant game. Mm. Um, yeah, because I don't know what you experienced beforehand, but this was the first time for me that I properly explore, explored London and yeah. like the food culture surrounding it. And I'm like, why is why is why are people complaining about it? This is actually pretty decent. Maybe I just got lucky. I don't know, but yeah, I mean, yeah. we just have we, we just steal other people's food, and uh, you know that's good. I mean, Australia kind of does the same thing yeah, as well. I mean, so. yeah. We yeah. don't have like a cuisine. It's like, yeah, what, yeah. what do you want? Like there's probably someone here who makes it. Yeah. <laughs> like, sure, sure. Do you want like New Zealand rat? Yeah. I'm sure someone New makes it. <laughs> <laughs> sure oh uh, yes, it. the staple Kiwi food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they fucking eat New Zealand. What are they going over there? Probably not rat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> lamb. Yeah, yeah, lamb. You got a lot of them whales. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because I remember when, when we went to the UK, I think Maylin landed. And I think two days after she landed, she'd had like four meals. Yeah. And she'd messaged me being like, in all caps, do reviews not mean anything here? <laughs> How do you know who to trust? How do you know which Google review to trust? And do I was you, like- Do you review things? I don't review things. I review things. Really? Oh, I yeah. never I never even looked at Google reviews before I moved to Japan. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. me neither. Because oh, I just looked at something and I'm just like, oh, that looks, I just look at a couple of photos. I'm like, yeah, that looks good. And yeah, I, just go. I review things. I feel like I, we're, people like me are keeping society together. <laughs> Without me, there won't be, there's so much chaos. How, how will ever anyone know what to eat? Did you always review though? Oh yeah, I've been doing it for a long time. Okay, mm. so before you moved to Japan. Yeah, before I moved to Japan. Yeah, Cause great. like, I understand the culture here because mm. you review something, it means something here. Yeah. You throw a, you throw a review in a, in a UK Google reviews, it's just like a message and you throw a fucking message in the bottle into the sea. Like it's not gonna reach anyone, man. <laughs> it's, it's like, like a message in Dark Souls. I, I, it doesn't yeah, mean yeah, anything. Yeah. <laughs> I am guilty there of the whole five star or one star matter. I am guilty of that. Wait, what do you mean? I'm either a five star guy or a one star guy. There's You've no... never rated anything three stars? No, I, I have. I, I just like, <clears throat> in my head, if something's three, mm. a lot of the time I want to go back mm -hmm. and confirm it's a three. 
Yeah, right. but also why would I want to go back to three? Because you're kind of indifferent to it, right? Yeah, because I'm like, eh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And like some places, are, like a lot of the times I've gone to restaurants, I've ordered one thing and I'm like, eh, and then for some reason I've gone back and I've got a different dish and I'm like, oh, oh, this is just, this is so much better, this dish. Like mm, I just happen to yeah. get the, the dish that they do poorly. Right. You could argue that that's like reflective on them and mm. that they that they shouldn't put it on the menu if it's bad or whatever, but mm. I feel like it can vary so much. Whereas like if you have a five star time, you're like, everything was perfect. It was amazing. Staff were amazing. Ambiance, or everything was amazing. Right. I'm like, all right, well, five yeah. stars. Where on the on the inverse side, where it's like, if it was all shit, I I knew it was all shit. Right, it was yeah. terrible. Right. So you just never go back, yeah. So I never go back. And yeah. I give it one stars. Right, right. Uh, but a lot of the times, I the places I go to in Japan are just purely off recommendations. Yeah. So I kind of normally go to places that I've always really liked. I I've I have not gone to many places that I haven't enjoyed in Japan. Yeah, because everyone is always like, "This is my favorite restaurant," mm. so I go to it. Cause I'm like, "Oh, it must be pretty good." I mean, yeah. At the end of the day, word of mouth, I think, is the most effective way of finding. Oh, new dude, shit, yeah, definitely. Know? Yeah, honestly, yeah. some place, <clears throat> some places in Japan aren't even on Google reviews, or they're not. Mm. They're not on it if you just search restaurants near me or something like that, or mm. yeah. X kind of restaurant I'm looking for. Sometimes mm. you have to like really, really look, uh, and that's why word of mouth means so much here in Japanese mm, mm, food mm. culture. Yep because people follow what other people say. And if you see a huge line at a Japanese restaurant, you know that shit fucking slaps, even though I never think it's worth waiting an hour for any meal in my life. Sure, sure. Fuck like, that. Yeah. I'll go to McDonald's. <laughs> I, I, I'm not waiting an hour. I'll wait an hour inside the restaurant drinking. I'm not waiting yeah, an hour yeah, yeah, yeah. outside not, the not restaurant. Not in the line. Especially yeah. in this heat in Japan. Bro, oh no, fuck yeah. that. It's not worth it. Fuck that. What's like your limit of waiting? What, outside of a restaurant? Yeah. 20 minutes tops, I'm not doing more than Yeah, that. for me, it's like no more than 30. Yeah, I, th I think 30 minute is the absolute limit. It really depends. Well. Like, yeah. okay, if we have like 20 people and they say 30 minutes, I'm like, we're, yeah. we're waiting 30 minutes. Cause yeah. we're not gonna find somewhere else. So yeah. it's like, but if it's just me and someone else, 20 minutes tops yeah. and it's gotta be a restaurant I know. True. Otherwise I'm like 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Cause it could just be a huge waste of time and the food is kind of mediocre. Yeah, I'd yeah. rather just go somewhere. If like, if you're in an area where there's a bunch of restaurants nearby, I'd rather just go somewhere else. Just an empty Yeah, one. just yeah. see, see what That's else is nearby. That's true. Yeah. One, one, one small thing that annoyed me in some of the restaurants we found in LA mm. was that, you know, sometimes we, we were in a group, we wanted to go out, have a nice meal together. All right, let's phone up the restaurant and book a table. You phone up the restaurant, they're like, we don't do bookings. You yeah, it's like a thing in LA, right? Turn up in the door. And I'm just like, why? Why? <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah. of the restaurants we went to wouldn't accept reservations. I never understood yeah. why that's the case. Is it so to avoid people flaking out? I think I, there must be some math behind it where someone has worked out that you can make more money and get more customers in the door by doing it, just turn up. Right. Because if, if they're full and you can't reserve, mm. then you're not going to show up. But maybe uh, yeah. you want to go, maybe they can squeeze you in if there's two of you, right? I feel like it, for the restaurants that are in really high demand, it must make more money. Yeah. Because yeah. you can get more customers in. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And people are willing to wait 20, 15 minutes at the door. Right, right. So I I, I feel for like, yeah, like what was it? Like Sugarfish or whatever? Sugarfish uh, was one of them. There was- I mean, the, the Italian the first, restaurant we went to. The first Lobo, Italian yeah. restaurant we went to before we found the other Italian restaurant. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, that, that, was, that was the big Cause, downgrade. Because also when you, when you go one day and you can't get in, you're like, oh, I should come back again. Because clearly it's good. Everyone's waiting. Mm. And, and to be fair, the restaurants where I did have to wait were pretty damn good. Mm. I, I feel like, yeah, it's a strategy to just make more money. And also you don't have to deal with reservations not showing up. Yeah, I think I think that makes more sense to me than- Because you, you, you lose money, right? If you yeah. reserve a table and they don't yeah. show up or they show up 20 minutes late or 50 minutes late or they show up 50, 20 minutes early and you're yeah. like, uh, uh, it's not ready. Basically they've just min maxed restaurants, yeah. right? <laughs> but but, <laughs> I, but you know, when, when there's a group of like four or more, yeah. reserving is like amazing. Cause it's like, yeah. oh, we know that we can turn up at this time mm. and we'll be good. And Japan's great for that. That's why I love Japan. Yeah, cause yeah. you can reserve any or most places, well, except, it's, it's, except for a Danny's apparently. It's, 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 not, it's not even Japan. In most places in the world I've been to, there's res most restaurants do reservations. Mm. And to be to, to like, I've, okay, let me, let me rephrase that. I've never seen this system anywhere outside of LA. I've never, mm. Have you ever seen it anywhere outside of LA? I'm what? sure it's in like New York and places like that. You call them yeah. up and they they say no reservations. Yeah, there's places that just don't take reservations. Well, other than and, like, other than like um, fucking McDonald's, not really, no. The restaurant meter, McDonald's, <laughs> every other restaurant, hey, hey, LA restaurants. Hey, McDonald's is a restaurant, all right? It's, it's a restaurant. <laughs> A family restaurant <laughs> for can, families. I guess so, yeah. Because, yeah, because, you know, throwing it back to the time we tried to reserve for seven people at a exactly, Denny's nearby. Denny's, and they were like, yeah. we don't take reservations. Just show up, please. And we're like, oh, yeah, God that makes damn sense. damn it, we'll pay. Yeah. We really want that Denny's, though. 
We need to uh, have yeah. yeah. This episode is sponsored by High Dive. Guys, have you ever heard of the anime I'm Quitting Heroing? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I don't really watch anime. Well, I actually met with the author a while ago for a panel discussion and the plot is really interesting. It's a fantasy show where the hero wants to be basically on the evil side for once. <gasps> Why would he do that? Well, God, I would tell you, but you'll need to watch the show to find out, which leads us to today's sponsor, High Dive. Because did you know that I'm Quitting Heroing is exclusive? to high dive. Huh, I didn't know that. And what is high dive? Tell Good me. Good question, Connor. I'll tell you and the audience as well. High dive is an anime streaming platform that has tons of anime titles like Akamega Kill, Food Wars, No Game, No Life, to the newest series like I'm Quitting Heroing. No Game, No Life, the anime I'm still waiting for season two for? Of course the anime is going to be subbed, right? Heck yes, it is. High <gasps> yes! Dive has dubbed and subbed content for all anime yes! titles. But, but isn't that going to be pricey? Do not worry because it isn't at all. High Dive is much more affordable compared to other streaming services. So sign up now and you can even start your seven day free trial. Oh my God, I just did some math. If you watch two anime a day, that's 14 titles in the for this free trial period. What? God, Connor, you are so good oh. at maths. So go to highdive.com to start your free trial now. And thank you to High Dive for sponsoring this video. Oh. Back to the show. But um, how did you guys find uh, Australia? That's that's what I want to know. Absolutely fucking loved Australia. Thank yeah. God. I found like my long lost second home in Australia, man. It was like <laughs> the U I've said this so many times before, but I Australia to me was like the UK, except everyone there was just way happier. And <laughs> that's because the weather's better, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. The wildlife is cooler. The weather is better. Um, you know, things a lot more things well, can kill like, you. It's but like I, if I've, you if you built the UK from like like a new, a new fresh account. Yeah. Just in, <laughs> in in a good climate, right? Mm -hmm. It's like if you build the UK from a new fresh account, but you've played the game before. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? So you know exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly what to do. Exactly. Sorry, I'm you. <laughs> no, because like, I've never, you know, truth be told, I've never felt like super patriotic about Australia. Like, you know, I love Australia, don't get me wrong. It's my home, but it's like, I've never been like, yeah, Aussie, 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 until the boys came to Australia and I was like, do you like it? Do please, please say like, you like, what you, what you please say you like this place. Please say you want to come back. And yeah. Thank God. We did it. We did it, Australia. We did it. Yeah, it was honestly, I don't really have any complaints about Australia. Wow. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm like trying, I'm like trying to rack my brain over something I can complain about because we're fucking British and we need to complain about any, everything. <laughs> and I guess the only thing I complain and I can complain about is the lack of anything to complain about, basically. <laughs> Like every every Australian was just like, oh, so so sorry for the weather, so sorry for the weather. I was like, what, what? Why are you apologizing for the weather? This is fucking amazing weather. It's nah, like, it was a bit shit. <laughs> what are you talking it was about? A, it was a bit, it was a bit cloudy. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just a shame because we were really tired. Yeah. So we couldn't really like have a hundred percent. I I, I want to yeah. have like a vacation there for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I I feel especially when it comes to Sydney because you yeah. know we were there mostly for you know the convention mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. Twitch stuff and stuff like that. Yeah. I feel you guys didn't really get to have like a proper view of Sydney. I guess. I went to yeah. Reptile but, Park. Oh yeah, I guess yeah. You you it's went fun. around like Alex yeah. took you around. Yeah. But like uh, I feel like you and Sydney didn't really get to see like actual. Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. yeah, like but I mean you at least you got to experience Melbourne. Yeah, yeah, because I after the uh after Smash Kill and I traveled to Melbourne because we had some uh, I have some family there who mm. have never visited in Australia. Mm. Um <clears throat> and it was fucking fantastic because they live right like they live more on the outskirts yeah. of Melbourne. They live near Yarra Valley, Yarra Valley which yeah. is basically just a bunch of fucking wineries. So I was, t me and Sydney just had a whole fucking field day, <laughs> just going around wineries one day. They mm. took us around. You're engaging in an uh, Australian activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that is, yeah. yeah. Wineries is an Australian activity, <laughs> yeah, exactly, absolutely. Right? Yeah. Exactly. How could I complain when we just, the, like what we did to, sh to be shown around was being shown around a bunch of wineries and just for trying a bunch yeah. of fucking wine. Beaches, wineries, and breweries. That's, yeah. that's just Australia. Saw some uh, saw some kangaroos on a golf course. That was that was weird. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I got to I went up to like little baby kangaroos. You can like pet them and stuff. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, yeah. Little joeys. Yeah, little, little joeys. Yeah. <laughs> See, seeing kangaroos. Never heard that one before. <laughs> seeing <laughs> seeing kangaroos like up close in real life for the first time um, just made me like just confirmed with me how fucking batshit natural selection was in Australia. <laughs> like I just, what fucking happened to natural selection in uh, Australia? I don't, I mean, I don't it, get it. That's what happens when you have a server completely isolated from any other server. Sure. Well, like, well, like even just looking at kangaroos, right? I'm like, how the fuck 
did what 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 happened in the history of kangaroos to lead to your evolution because you know mm. basically everywhere else in the world because what i've realized is that kangaroos are basically just australian deers right that's yeah. there's they're basically yeah. just australian deers but like in every other in, in in every other side of the world animals just decided okay four legs walking on four legs that's the meta that's the most effective meta and then all the way in fucking australia kangaroos are like nah let's just fucking bounce everywhere right <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's not even fucking walk let's bounce everywhere like I, what the fuck happened i mean I, if you're talking about dumb fucking evolution the koala is like the king of like fucking <laughs> stupidity like the koala, sure. like when you hear like it's, I, when i did the irl stream we got to hear about the koalas mm. and Literally every single koala attribute had like 20 caveats. Right. They were like so goddamn dumb. They they could only eat one fucking plant, yep. yeah. eucalyptus tree. And the best part is, is that if you take the eucalyptus leaf off the tree, they don't know what it is. Yeah. They're like, I can't eat this. Yeah. What is this? What's this leaf? What is it? What? I don't know what this is. They, yeah. they don't eat it. How? How? And also the reason why they sleep for 16 hours a day is because <clears throat> the toxins in the eucalyptus leaf basically act the same way that marijuana does to humans. So yeah. they're just stoned. Yeah, like that's hours what I realized. Koalas just are just the fucking stoners of the world. Yeah, they're just stoner bears. Yeah. That's all they are. And the babies have to eat the mum's poop, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like I found this out at the SmashCon panel yeah. where like, koalas have to, like when koalas are born, the mum needs to eat the eucalyptus leaves and shit it out. Yeah, right? because, the, because the baby's stomach isn't strong enough to break down the toxins mm. of the eucalyptus tree because it's technically toxic. Right? Yeah. How the fuck did this animal survive in Australia? One of the most dangerous places in the world in terms of wildlife. How how the fuck does that happen? You know, like they, they literally lucked out by putting all their points in acuteness. Because if, <laughs> if humans didn't exist, they'd be fucked, man. Oh yeah, They'd be yeah. absolutely fucked. Cuteness only from a distance though, because like, I don't know if you ever got like, did you ever get to get like really close to a koala? Yeah, I got to touch it. Yeah. Does it not smell like shit? Uh, yeah, they all smelled really yeah, awful. Yeah, they smell yeah. fucking horrible. Do they actually? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, they they literally born eating shit. <laughs> So of course they're gonna smell like shit as well. Like there are a lot of maintenance to keep them happy, I think as well. Yeah. Otherwise yeah. they'll just die. They're just like, ah, fuck it, I'll die. Yeah, <laughs> guess I'll die. <laughs> yeah, I'll die. <laughs> Literally, they will. Yo, they're yeah. too stoned to care, man. Yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah this is like, like ah, whatever, man. Yeah, see ya. Yeah, whatever, man. I, I got to finally meet a giant tortoise as well. I was oh, yeah. salivating, oh, yeah. salivating at the point. <laughs> Oh. Delicious. Oh, it's hot holding back. <laughs> it's like you guys, I feel like you guys didn't even get to see like the truly weird animals that we have. No, either. we didn't. But oh, even yeah, like, it. It, we, we, only, we only saw your base level animals and those were fucking weird enough. Yeah, because I, I remember you were freaking out about like all the wild cockatoos, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, the birds are crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah birds yeah, absolutely birds. insane. Yeah. Also birds fucking, they're cute as fuck. Yeah, yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, we need we need more exciting wildlife. You guys, in you guys the UK. freaking out about the ibises was my funniest I'm, thing ever. Because we're on the pigeon meta in the UK. Yeah. We've been on the pigeon meta for that, like, that, like mm. hundreds of years. Yeah. The pigeon and seagull meta. Yeah, true, yeah. true. I mean, we have seagulls as well. Near, even near the even beach. your seagulls look way more aesthetic than our seagulls. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do. They so do. What, what do your seagulls look like? <laughs> Hideous. <laughs> Hideous. I don't look at a seagull and go like, damn, that's a good looking bird though. I didn't do that until I went to Australia and saw your seagulls. They're so like slim, their beaks mm. are nice and polished. They're actually clean. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck are the seagulls in, the, in England be eating? You know, these seagulls been growing up on the fucking streets. Well, they man. fight each other. <laughs> yeah, they fight yeah, each yeah, other, yeah. right? Every day in the UK, they fight. <laughs> Yeah, but Gon, Gon telling me about uh, the Ibises was so funny. Yeah, those I, are weird. I never thought about how weird that must be to someone outside of Australia, because yeah. I'm just so used to it. What are the Ibises again? The bin chickens. Bin chickens. Oh, the bin chickens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just it's, like- It's this, by the way, if, for those <laughs> of you who don't know. It's fucking weird. Like, yeah. It's just like, why? Like, I'm surprised that like, uh, Australia like allowed them to exist. Yeah. Because <laughs> well, they, they feel like, I feel like when an animal gets too big, mm. it, it just gets like, destroyed. Yeah, it gets destroyed. <laughs> yeah, cause well, I said the reason why we can't fucking keep tigers alive because they're too big and easy uh, to fucking capture. Yeah, sure, yeah. Sure. Cause like, again, I feel like it's too big of a bird. It's not nimble it's, enough. It looks so weird as well. Yeah. Yeah. Literally like, I remember go, I remember like the first time I saw it was actually walking right in the center of the streets of Sydney. Oh, so many of them. Yeah, there's mm. so many. Cause normally I'm used to just seeing pigeons and seagulls in a city. Mm. I'm not, and then I suddenly turn the corner and this massive fucking bird with a, a really long thick, like, no, a really long slender narrow beak. And yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what the fuck yeah, is yeah, that? Right. Can they fly? Yo, is that a Pokemon? Uh, yeah, what yeah, is, they what is that? They can fly. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm pretty sure they can fly. What's yeah. stopping me from grabbing one? Uh, away. nothing. Honestly. Is there any, like, do they, do they have some ecological uh, service that they do for the, 
What are they? Are they they, get rid they, of pests? Eat, they eat the trash, I guess. Oh. That's why they call bin chickens because they're always rummaging around. Because the you bin. know, like they're basically the rats of Sydney. Because mm-hmm. like spiders get rid of flies and stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Do, what do bin chickens do? Yeah, I don't know what. What do bin? Look up. Look up the purpose of an ibis. <laughs> like what? What ecological <laughs> role do they book. serve in the hierarchy? <laughs> I don't know. Like to entertain us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny chicken. To entertain, dance. To entertain <laughs> foreigners. <laughs> yeah, dance like, chicken. Damn, what the hell is that? <laughs> Yeah, no, like every time, I don't know, because I think I'm just so used to it that like every time if I'm like eating outside or something Mm. and there's just a bunch of ibises like walking around, I just be like, yeah, fuck off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, because like I don't, I haven't really ever seen or heard of an ibis like attacking someone or like someone getting hurt from an ibis. Oh, they got a long beast and they just, just fucking stab me. Push its me. beak out of the way. <laughs> it's like, what's it gonna do? It's gonna, oh! <laughs> <laughs> just grab it by the beak. Yeah, it's, like, it's, gonna <laughs> it's gonna wobble. <laughs> I, I don't know. Do you know what it is? I figured that's, oh, okay. that's okay. normally what it is. They, they, everything we hate gets rid of another insect that we hate. I don't think I've ever <laughs> seen an ibis on a farm though. They're always like near the coast, aren't they? Cause they're uh, like, just yeah. like- Don't ask me. I, I, I just I discovered these things were a month ago. I don't know. Like they're in this, they're in the middle of the fucking city. I don't yeah. see a farm in the middle of the city. I yeah. think speaking of bin chickens and our terrible meals in LA reminded me of this. Yeah. I went to medieval times. In LA. Oh, yeah. okay. You know, you have seen medieval times? You ever watch Cable Guy? No. The movie, no. Jim, Jim Carrey, where he's, no. where he's the cable guy. No. It's a really good <laughs> do you movie. Do you want to explain? Yeah. Right, so medieval times is this kind of- um, Is it like a Renaissance fair or? Uh, it's like a pantomime performance where there's like an arena and there's like knights of different colors and the, mm. the, the seating area is like a stadium, <laughs> mini stadium. Oh, cool. They're mm-hmm. raging to colors and everyone, yeah. everyone gets a house color. Right, right, right. And you sit and you watch the performance and you get a meal, you mm. get drinks as well. Mm. And um, yeah, so then these dudes come out in like white, red or whatever, and they all do like games to see who's the, the best knight. Right. And then they have a fight at the end to the side. It's right. all, all choreographed, it's yeah, all yeah. performance. And they all talk with British accents. And some, <laughs> some of the actors nail it and some of them, oh God. There's this one actor who like, it sounded like Sylvester Stallone trying to do a British accent. It was so bad. <laughs> and, uh, and every time he spoke, I just couldn't like, I, I, cause I was with Emily and Dietis. I just couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. And, and then they would start laughing. Cause they're like, Connor, he's trying his best. I'm like, this is so bad. It's so bad. Um, but it was really fun. Yeah. It was interesting. They're, they're really fucking good at their job. Right, obviously. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, yeah. it was a fun performance. I thought I was going to hate it. Cause I was like, ah, oh, it seems really childish. Was the meal yeah, any yeah. good or? Oh God, no. It was awful. <laughs> It was so. I, well, they, what did you get? I, it, I, I mean, to their credit, it was accurate to the the twelve hundreds. Oh, I right. see. Like you don't get a knife and fork, right. which I'm fine with. I'm fine with. I just I didn't know that. Mm. So when I got a whole chicken <laughs> and a garlic bread and a soup, I I was like, oh, oh, I just. I just like grab it. No, maybe, did I get a knife? I don't think I got a knife. Wait, and how fork. the fuck are you supposed to eat the soup? You just grab the plate and just eat like that, or? Yeah, I think so. Just use your just cup with your hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was like all, a starving it was, peasant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, it was, it was all with your hands because, like, I remember they gave us like two moist towelettes, and I yeah, was like yeah. rationing them while trying to eat this full oh like God. quarter chicken. Right. And and there was no seasoning on this chicken. Oh no. And this thing was. Bone dry, right? Like bone with a capital B, dry. Like well, that's bone what the soup is for, right? No, 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 no. Because the soup was just tomato soup, right. and it was like the exact kind of like you know that if you had to mass manufacture tomato soup, right. that's yeah. the exact taste it was. And I'm not, uh, I'm not okay. I'm, can I get this straight? I'm not complaining about the food because I, I I expected it to be good. I know that when you go to a pantomime esque thing, you're not going for the food. Yeah, of course. But if I could have like had my an option, but he didn't expect to eat like a peasant. If I could an actual had, peasant. If I could have had an option. Option to not eat the food yeah. and eat somewhere else, I would have done that. <laughs> oh, it wasn't even an option to not have the food? No, no, you, you get the food. Oh, And okay. they gave us garlic bread, bro. And I tapped this on my glass and I went, dong, dong, dong. Again, again, I don't care. I yeah. literally don't care. I just thought it was funny. At least the show was good, right? No, the yeah. show was great. Oh, yeah, they yeah, were yeah, fucking awesome. Good. Dude, they were really whacking each other with these metal swords. Cause right. there was like yeah. sparks flying out. Oh shit. Sword. It was hype as fuck. I got really right. into it. I was screaming. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, this chicken, chicken, I was like nearly, I was in like the Sahara desert by the end of it. I was drinking. I had like a, a four liter beer as well. Guess how much it cost me? Four, four liters? It was like three liter beer. I'm exaggerating, three. It was like, it was a three liter beer. Three, still three liters is a fuck. It was gigantic. That's, a lot, that's like what, that maybe? It was, it was fucking beer. Yeah. Guess, how, how, guess how much it cost me? I don't know, 20, 30 bucks maybe? How much do you think it cost me? I think about 30 bucks. Yeah, it was $35 Yeah, this beer. 
and I, and I didn't know this because yeah. it wasn't well explained to me. Or maybe I did, I'm just dumb. I didn't listen. Mm -hmm. So it's been paid 35 American goddamn dollars for on including tip. Uh, I, I don't know if I had a tip. It was, I was just at a bar. It must have been like a service charge or something. I, I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So apparently you get to then refill that. that, that oh, glass. okay. I think you get to keep it. I, did, I didn't keep it because right. I didn't know that. But apparently- Wait, you can refill re the glass with beer? Yeah, 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 right. Well then that's fucking that's worth it. That's worth it. Yeah. No, no, no. no. That's you, all you, you can drink you, for $35. You pay for the refill. How much oh, is the refill? Oh, I think oh. like eight or nine bucks. Oh, that's not too bad. Right, right, but- I mean, getting you... through three liters of beer in like an hour and a half show. How many beers can I chug, bro? Like that's not that wasn't even the worst though. Remember the fucking beer that I bought for everyone at the fucking mogul money. Oh, <laughs> Remember how oh, expensive that, yeah, that beer that was? Like was? A, a can of Corona for it was like, like a can of Corona for like eighteen dollars, and I'm just <laughs> like, I I bought four. Uh, so we were all at mogul money, okay, yeah, and I was maybe, just maybe like, yeah, let's complain. let's go to the bar and you know buy a can of beer <laughs> because actually, it's a show. I was just shocked. Yeah, I, and I was just like. Guys, don't worry. I got this one. You know, I was feeling good that day. I got four, like, you know, tall boys of beer. It was like $96. I'm okay. like, what right. the fuck? Okay, that's fair, but that's a stadium. That's price. ridiculous. Yeah. I, I actually tried to, okay. I, I didn't well, tell I you- had I had to ration this shit out. I didn't tell you boys this about what happens before you bought the beer. Yeah. Cause the reason Joey bought all the beers was because uh, to get into this venue, you had to, you either had to have like a, a clear, bag yeah. uh, or you have to like put your bag into storage. Oh, or, or it was a yeah. small bag. Or it has to be like a really, really small yeah, bag. Like a bomb bag. Yeah, yeah, so my bag was too big to go into the security. And his bag is tiny. It yeah, fucking yeah. Tiny. yeah, it was a really, really tiny bag. Um, and so I was like, great, I'll just put my bag into storage. That's no problem. Mm. Uh, I'll bring out my credit card just yeah. in case I need to buy something. I put it in. And then only after I go into security, do I remember, oh yeah, my ID was in that bag. And right. I completely forgot to bring my ID. <laughs> and so, and so we go up, we go up and it's, it's, it's actually pretty chill, right? It's, it's not like we got grilled or anything like that. Uh. They just, you know, they just ask for ID. <laughs> and so I tried to explain that, you know, I didn't have my ID, but I'm fucking 32, okay? I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm 32, I forgot my bag. Uh, I forgot my ID in my bag that's in a storage case, <laughs> 10 minutes down <laughs> away. Uh, uh, ask, ask me where I was at 9-11. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and, so, and so they were like, do you have any kind of form of ID on you that we can take at all? And, and, I, and I, I look at him and I was just like, do you, uh, so this is gonna sound weird, but I have a Wikipedia article <laughs> and I have a famous- Did you actually do that? <laughs> Did it work? And, 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 it, and they were like, oh, are you serious? Can I see it? And so I, I load up my Wikipedia article and I can see this guy just, he, he, he looked at it and he was just like, fuck, is this a form of ID I can actually accept? And he actually considers it for about like a minute <laughs> no. or two. And I'm like, please, guy, my guy, come on. Look, I, I'm, I, I am actually 32. And he's just like, oh, sorry. I don't think I can accept oh this. But if, but if you get someone else to buy it on your behalf, AKA Joey, yeah. then, then that'll be fine. So that's yeah. that's why they allowed Joey to buy it for me. <laughs> you literally pulled the, I'm kind of famous. I, I, like, I'm not, like, this is the first time I've ever tried to flex the oh, fact yeah, that, oh, yeah, yeah I, okay. No, I okay, it, I, I have a wiki article, What's okay? What's the point of having a Wikipedia if you can't yeah, get yeah. some mileage out of it, you know? That, I, I hope they fucking normalize that from now on though. Like, Bro. If, if you got a photo there, dude, like that's photo ID, technically yeah, yeah. speaking. Yo, famousbirthday.com? Yeah, yeah, come on. My Absolutely. photo's there, my birthday's there. <laughs> God, I can't believe that's something I would do. Not you. That's a me thing. That's not a you I was, thing. I was desperate for a right. fucking beer, yeah. okay? Because I, because the, the reason is we like, once we went in, we couldn't go back out. So there was no way I would. I thought there was no way I could get a beer for this show, and I was like, I, I can't sit through a fucking three-hour show sober. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> that's how un-British of me, you know. <laughs> um, True. But so yeah, yeah, the beer was stupidly expensive. Yeah. I, I paid like ninety bucks for four beers, and I'm just like, what? the actual fuck. Yeah. That's where they're yeah. making all their money, not these fucking Fair tickets. Enough. Of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. I guess yeah, I guess yeah. the Medieval Times one was good in comparison. Oh yeah. <laughs> the Medieval Times was good though. It was a good show. Yeah. You should go sometime. It's fun. Oh, I loved it. That sounds really, really fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was surprisingly good. Mm. They did the whole thing at the start of the show where they read out everyone's birthday. And it was like, oh. Timothy, uh, 11 years old, congratulations. I was like, oh yeah, I'm on a kids thing, technically. That's good fun though. Oh yeah. Good, good piss up with the boys. Yeah, hell yeah. That sounds fun. Yeah, we should definitely go next time. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to Australia though. Mm. One thing I did notice uh, hanging out with Australians is that Australian sarcasm is just on a level that I've never seen before. <laughs> okay. 
Because <laughs> how so? Because here's the thing: it's like you guys are constantly looking for the next target to prank, mm. and you never talk about this verbally. But as soon as you say, as soon as someone makes up a lie or jokes about someone or about something to a foreigner or mm. something, mm. everyone just univer everyone in Australia universally agrees to get in on this joke. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. And that's why, like, one thing I didn't understand before going to Australia is like why every Australian just agreed to try to trick the world about drop bears. Yeah. Which uh, what what is like the drop bear law. What do you they mean trick? They're, they're real. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy. <laughs> like they, they pretend like people live in Australia. It's like weird. Yeah, yeah. right. Like yeah. No one would live in a, in a fucking <laughs> desert. No, no one lives there. It's a yeah. simulation. So when I saw this happening firsthand, yeah. It was uh, we did a stream in Australia mm -hmm. where like we found out what Tim Tam slams were. <laughs> We, uh, that was my favorite thing ever. We found out what happened. Uh, we found out what Tim Tam Slams were. So yeah. Tim Tam Slams are, so Tim Tams are a kind of biscuits in Australia. Yeah, mm. like, like a and chocolate got, biscuit. Yeah, it's like two uh, two biscuits with like a chocolate filling. Mm -hmm. And what happens is you bite you bite off two corners yep. and then you put it in tea or coffee or whatever. whatever and you then want. you suck out the uh, liquids. Literally no point in doing this. Yeah, like, absolutely it, it no point. It offers no benefit to yeah. either the drink I or think, the I biscuit. think you have to know how to do it in order to get a visa. Yeah, to exactly. Australia. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely on the citizenship <clears throat> test. That's for sure. But yeah. we did it because they're, you know, because we're on the Australia set and the, the live yeah. stream we did was Australia themed. So they were like, oh, let's just get the mm, boys to do a Team Tam Slam. Yeah, so exactly. Completely you know. failed at it. Yeah. Um, but one person who wasn't there was Sydney. <laughs> and we were, we had a panel together <laughs> oh where God. someone asked us on stage if we'd done a Tim Tam Slam. And obviously me and, me and Connor had just done one. So we mm. said, yes. Yeah. And Sydney's like, what's a Tim Tam slam? Yeah. And for some reason, as soon as she said that, everyone, every Australian perked up and it was just like, this is, this is content right here. This is content right here. <laughs> and then so Joey jokingly <laughs> says, okay, so what happens in Australia when you get a pack of Tim Tams is you just slam it on the floor and you just fucking slam it uh, until, it's fuck, until it's crumbs and you eat the crumbs and that's the Tim Tam slam. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then, you know, and, and, and you know, uh, the crowd and the, the MC were all just like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's, he's, he's right. And the thing is, I, me being British, I was like, they said that so sarcastically. Yeah. Of course, Sydney's never going to fall for that. So in my mind, I was like, I thought Sydney got the joke. Yeah, yeah. I thought Sydney had gotten the joke. <laughs> so, so it was- Because she didn't really question it. She was yeah. just kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> and so after this, the next day, we all had a signing together. <laughs> And someone in Sydney's signings brings her a pack of Tim Tams. And then and then she go and then he goes, Oh, do you mind doing a Tim Tam slam for me? And Sydney goes, Yeah, oh, of course, of course I'll do a Tim Tam slam. Is. I know what that is. So I'm sitting next to Sydney, just signing away, and all I hear next to me is just <laughs> And I'm just like, what the fuck? Sydney, what are you doing? What are you doing, Sydney? She's just like, I'm doing a Tim Tam slam. Why are you oh stopping me? God. Why are you stopping me? I'm oh like, Sydney, that's not a Tim Tam slam. They've tricked you. Oh and I was, as soon as I said that, everyone, every, I swear, every fucking Australian, everyone in the queue looked at me and I was like, God, what are you doing? What are you doing, yeah, God? Why would on. you say that? And I was just like, how, how have you all just agreed to just like try to trick everyone that you've, everyone that you've met? Were they just, were, was everyone just gonna watch oh her God. batter these biscuits? Yeah, like, absolutely. She, I, she was, I was going to. She was battering it for like a good few seconds yeah. and nobody said shit. Yeah. Everyone was yeah, like- Everyone was just like, yep, yeah, you got it. You got it. Just keep doing a couple more times. Everyone was you intensely got watching being like, you got this queen. All right, next step. You just got to pick the crumbs up and eat it. And I was just like, I, it was so funny. I was impressed. <laughs> oh my god! That the Australia chose one of the most boring fucking food items to be like their mascot. Like it's literally <laughs> just a chocolate biscuit. What do you? And mean? it's a very, very ordinary chocolate tasting biscuit. But like you guys it, can't talk. You you guys are like mm, yes, uh, no, no, hot saying, chips saying, and a fried listen, fish. <laughs> listen, the UK is not any better, right? Yeah. But I expected better from Australia because you had to, you had to do over. You got to do it right. And you were like, oh, let's just get the generic ass chocolate biscuit, which we have. We have ten times in the UK. They're just called fucking mm -hmm. normal chocolate biscuits. Like yeah. we we have the exact same type of biscuits. We just don't care because they're nothing special. But, yeah. but Australia <laughs> decided, oh, this is going to be our thing. And you go to the airport and everything's Tim Tam themed in the gift section. Like this is shit. Yeah, no, it's, be no, it's because it's thing. it's because it's the most uh, non-challenging food item that any foreigner from any country can be like, yes, that's good. That's acceptable. I like chocolate. I like biscuits, right? Like it's, it's kind of difficult to be like, you know, oh, so Australia, we have this thing called Vegemite and we have this party oh, Vegemite's good though. And we have this party food called fairy bread. 
Uh, Fair bread is shit. You know, yeah, exactly, right? Fair bread is good. No, yeah, it see, it's just sugar it's, on bread. It's two it's opposites sugar. right Ve- here. Ve- veggie might shit. You it's, it's, see, two opposites right here. But I think anyone of any palate can agree that, like, yeah, fucking who doesn't like chocolate biscuits? I don't like chocolate biscuits. Well, that's a you problem. <laughs> everyone else everyone else likes chocolate biscuits. So I, that's why we used it as like a marketing method. I, as a kid, I liked chocolate tasting stuff. And then mm. I don't know what happened. As I got older, I just mm. felt that chocolate tasting things just taste bad and like really artificial almost. I don't know why, <laughs> even though it's not. Because a lot of times you just melt chocolate in it or just put chocolate. I don't know why. I mean, like I, I'll, I'll admit that I don't eat as much chocolate as I used to. And definitely I can't mm. eat as much chocolate just like physically because yeah. I, I start to get sick. But like, I'm not- I It's very go, sickly. It's I wouldn't go as very... far as to say that I will just pass up chocolate at any chance I could get. Like Normal sometimes... chocolate, like chocolate bars, yeah. I'm there. But like chocolate flavored things are normally really sickly. Am I? I don't know. Me personally, I don't know. If given the chance, I can. I can. Okay, I can, I can slam a pack of tin That's totally down. my. I'm palate. about to have an opinion <laughs> on Connor's food take. <laughs> I, 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 he said that, and I'm just like. Okay, go ahead. Have your opinion. Wait, what, what do you? Why, why chocolate flavored things? Whoa. Something about chocolate flavored, like chocolate ice cream, chocolate flavored biscuits, just makes me feel kind of sick. I'm, I can't, I can't, is this I can't, is this is privilege? Can't fucking do this again. It, is, are you playing devil's advocate or is this your you're, privilege you're talking? You're no, that's, this is genuinely how I feel. That's, there's no way you actually believe that. I, you, I, 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 I believe that. It's not, it's not fucking copium. It's, that's how it is. When I taste chocolate flavored things, I'm like, literally any other flavor would be better than this. Bro, you, you advocate for vanilla. I love you, vanilla. You advocate for vanilla, <laughs> vanilla and you're gonna slander I'm chocolate? Sorry. I'm what? sorry, vanilla is an amazing taste. What? I, I have a feeling you've said an opinion about chocolate where you were praising like chocolate flavored things in a past taste episode. I have Maybe not. I'm just tripping. That's not me. Maybe our audience will remember like better. Like chocolate bars, but, yeah. like milk chocolate, dark chocolate bars, right. I fucking love. I think that they're amazing. But that's like the, that's like just the chocolate in its purest form. Give me the fucking cocoa bean bag and to fucking what? shove it in my mouth. Yeah, but that's like so s- chocolate okay. cookies. I don't really like chocolate cookies. That fudge. Much. Uh, fudge is okay. Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake is too much. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can, I, can, I am trying to process. I can. I can hear the blood boiling in. I just think it's like... too much chocolate, like shoved into like per bite. But like you, fudge is like even more intense than chocolate cake is, and you're saying chocolate cake. No, some fudges are okay, but. It's some. I, I brownies? Like brownies? Okay, brownies are good. But brownies is like more heavy. That's it. But they fucking. That's, yeah, like, that's like, like concentrated chocolate. Yeah, yeah. but brownies are like. It's got to be warm brownies as well. I don't like cold brownies. Well, nobody likes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have a. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. There, 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 there we go. There we go. I don't know. So just I don't know. Brownies are again like, and I can't. I, I, I'm sure you're the same. I, I don't know anyone anyone who could eat like a shit ton of brownies. Like, like I can one, eat a shit ton of one square of brownies. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's the stoner in you talking. Yeah. Okay. I can definitely yeah, I was eat like, a I was shit like, ton of brownies. I was like, stoners be like, oh, just watch me. I'll bet. Like, <laughs> plain, fresh cookies, chocolate yeah. chip, perfect. Like that's that's perfection in a cookie to me. Like, right. A chocolate cookie is too much, too much chocolate flavor. <sighs> I don't I'm, know. Sure, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say that- I'm like, trying to comprehend listen, okay, your opinion. This is not one of my opinions where I'm like, I believe that you both are wrong and you should definitely 100% understand my, like All I right. get it that- Oh, don't is, worry, we're not. This could definitely be the weird opinion. Why is there so much dust in front of me? What the fuck, what the fuck happened? <laughs> just like sneeze, <laughs> getting that old? <laughs> just fading <laughs> away. <laughs> like, like, I, I think I've like aged 50 years with this one conversation gone up. There's just like 50, 50 fucking dust particles in my face. Yeah. So I think here, uh, there's dust in my face. <laughs> my oxygen has been compromised by fucking dust. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I just think vanilla is an amazing flavor. Um, of course you do. Stuff. But of course with, you with, do. Um, yeah, it's just too sickly for me. I, I know that that's not normal though. I know that's me. Yeah. No, for okay, me. look, don't get me wrong. Like, I understand the point of uh, too much chocolate gets me sick, mm. right? Because- that's I, sweet things also. But that's a lot of sweet things. Yeah. Like too much yeah, vanilla will make me sick as yeah. well. I will say one of my favorite desserts is a uh, sticky toffee pudding. That's good though. That's like more, I like it when you have the chocolate stuff with like a big, like a sauce or something to help with the flavor. Like a chocolate sauce, for instance? No, no, chocolate sauce <laughs> on chocolate is that's fucking disgusting. That's way too much. Well, that, that's, that, wouldn't that be like a chocolate lava cake? Like you don't like those? No, no, uh, actually they're okay. It depends. I, <laughs> it's like a few bites, like for one or two sake. bites. Again, it's a sickly thing. It's not, it's right. not a taste thing, it's a right. sickly thing. Like, so are you like this with any other sweet things or is it just I, specifically chocolate? Well, like chocolate. sticky toffee pudding is like way more sickly than anything chocolate yeah. to me. Yeah, that's, but that's why you have the vanilla ice cream to neutralize it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so are you the same with vanilla ice cream, for instance? Like if you eat enough vanilla ice cream, will you get sick? Oh, no, I can, I can go to town on vanilla ice cream. 
That ain't me. That ain't me. That ain't me. I can. I can. What is that? What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? The fuck was that? That was our same brain cells just firing off. Just being like, yeah. Oh, Connor has an opinion again. Yeah, it is. It is. It's the slow head turn of like, excuse me. I. I. I'm sure there are some other people out there who think that chocolate is too sickly. No, like, no, no I agree with that, you on chocolate being that's too sickly. That's actually what, like, what? That's, 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 actually a co- that's actually a common opinion. That's so a common a lot, opinion. A lot of chocolate is very, very heavy. This is the problem like, with trash taste, right? Is that I don't know if my opinion is a general shed opinion and you two are just clowns. It's a bit of both. I think we're all clowns here. That's that's the point. That's the point of it. You can't just dismiss every chocolate item aside from chocolate bars. That is a clown opinion. I'm saying like a chocolate, uh, what was the fucking fountain? Whatever you're talking about. Lava chocolate cake? fountain. That, the lava cake, whatever, yeah. Lava, chocolate lava cake, right? Great yeah. example. One bite, God tier. I love that shit. Mm. Tastes great. Mm. Two bites, I'm like, oh my God, I feel like I'm about to fucking die. That's, that's why literally you use the same strat as you do with the sticky toffee pudding. You mm. never have a chocolate lava cake by itself. That's you usually have that's it with insane. like a yeah, ice, yeah, vanilla have, ice cream or the, a whipped the, cream. The, the, yeah, or yeah, yeah. the toffee sauce is a game changer. In the st- I just love toffee. Toffee's great. <laughs> I, toffee's I, 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 I like. I, I hate toffee for the same reason you hate chocolate stuff because it's sickly. Yeah, it's way yeah, too sickly. Yeah, I, I like that, I, I, I don't like caramel I don't stuff. Know, it's, a, it's a weird one because I know I, I especially on this chocolate thing I contradict myself a lot. Mm. Yeah, so it's very much dish dependent. I, I I get you on the fact that like too much chocolate is sickly, but mm. I'm like that with all sweet things, not just yeah. chocolate. Like if I uh, eat yeah. enough fucking strawberry flavored ice cream or like vanilla ice like cream, for for me okay. I think I'll get sick. I think chocolate ice cream has got to be like bottom tier, like fucking F tier. It's like one of the no, worst. No, strawberries bottom tier. Strawberry. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Strawberry. Strawberry. Strawberries strawberry bottom tier. Uh, do we agree, oh, no, boys? No, no, no. Yeah. Strawberries okay. bottom strawberry tier. Ice cream. Only, only unless they they use like god tier fresh strawberries and it's made on. Yeah, the but data. it's never it's, that. I know way. it's never it's that. Never no, that. It's never that. Like you could say this, that's the same thing about any kind of like dessert. Right. If you yeah, use the okay. fresh ingredients, yeah, okay. it's gonna be better. Okay. No. Well, then that's like okay. Every every like ice cream or dish or milkshake or whatever that has that has that the distinct like. Uh, cheap flavor that every like flavor alternative has. Like banana has that cheap flavor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Chocolate has that cheap flavor go to. Right. Like, yeah. Strawberry has that. But so does vanilla. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Vanilla. But <laughs> I think out of all of them, like the cheap flavor, like strawberry is probably the worst one. Oh yeah. And definitely. then chocolate. Because I, I I realized like two of my favorite fruits are strawberry and banana. Right. Yeah. I, I fucking love eating those fruits. Oh, banana's god tier, dude. Yeah. yeah absolutely fucking god god tier. But I hate anything that's flavored like them. You know. Oh, I, I, I like I, banana flavored things. Do you like banana ice cream? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty yeah, good. yeah, yeah. I, I like banana flavor, ice cream. but it's not my go-to. It's it's no, it's, it's like my fourth choice. <laughs> Listen, if I'm getting the banana, I'm getting three scoops, and banana's one of them. Like, I need something else to right, right, right. Because, yeah. dude, I mean, there's this one. There's an ice cream place in Hokkaido, mm. and it's so god, it's like a chain that you only get in Hokkaido, mm. dude. And they do like the most insane flavors of ice cream, mm-hmm. and it just makes ice cream like another level. It's right. like you just can't go back to <laughs> yeah, but that's just dust. Hokkaido, just okay. being. But like, it was like it was like you'd get ice cream, and it's like tiramisu ice cream, and I'm like, I'm just. I'm just there for that. Like that's, <laughs> I am there. Like okay. that is a game changer. And there was caramel macchiato ice cream. I, what? Oh my God, that's, your, that's your white privilege is showing. <laughs> that's, I, bro, I, I, if, I, if that's what it means to eat ice cream like that, I'm, I'm, I'm on board. Then would you ever order a sorbet for dessert? Over? Oh, fuck no. Sorbet is, sorbet is dog shit <sighs> tier. Of like dessert. I think the problem with sorbet is that you can have really good sorbets, but at the same time you can have some real dog shit. No, so, sometimes it's just, it's just so bad. It's sorbet. not bad. No. What are you it's talking about? Like, you must about. have had some really it's shit sorbet. Like, 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 oh, when you when, I, when they tell me about. they have sorbet, I'm like, come here. Just tell me you couldn't afford gelato or ice cream. Just, just say it, okay? Because like you literally complained about chocolate ice cream being too heavy. Sometimes you have a heavy meal. I they're just, like, they bring out the dessert menu. Just, like, no, no. just come in, just give me a, just fucking come out with a tune, uh, teaspoon and just pour the flavoring directly in my mouth. Don't give it to me through what this icicle bullshit. I don't want a fucking ice cone. Right? It's not even an ice hole. It's like an ice bro, cone. Bro, the dude literally just call a sorbet an it's ice like, cone. It's like a hard ice cone, bro. It it's tastes like shit. It's off. That it's is so, shit. That is so cap. It's that so is bad. So, that, you said a lot of cap things this episode. That is the most sorbet cap. Sorbet is like dog shit dessert, dude. It's like an It offensive. is not, bro. It's so bad. That's I do like not if, want to if eat you sorbet. need if you need a light dessert if if something creamy like yeah. ice cream can't sometimes just, I have a meal so heavy it's not creamy, I don't want an ice it's cream it's not creamy enough it's just a, that's, it's like that's a, the whole point of it cream's heavy it's not meant to be a heavy dessert <laughs> it's if like it's like sometime, just, just admit it you're a, you're a, you're a snow cone with like a droplet of cream just get it out of the way some just, sometimes you need a dessert that's a different kind of heaviness to ice cream no, sometimes no. I don't want ice cream to finish yeah. off I just think, sometimes I don't want ice cream and sometimes I don't want fruit as a 
a dessert. But it's like sometimes I want it's like it's like the sorbet. The problem, my problem with sorbet mainly is okay. One, the texture is awful. I just don't like it because I'm also I'm a I'm a snow cone hater. Uh, and and it, it's it, it leans too closely to that kind of okay. You don't mind. like you don't like Cucky Gordian snow cones. Yeah, no, I that's, hate that's Cucky It's awful. Oh my god. Um, and my, my also my other problem with it is that every sorbet flavor just seems to be awful. Like they just they they can never make a it's good. It's literally like fruit flavored. A lot yeah, of the awful, time. Do you awful. not like orange? What? Do you not like orange? Sorbet? Orange orange is the worst flavoring known to man. I think orange <laughs> is like. Orange. What? Am I fucking listening? Orange has to be like. Okay, I, I said strawberry. Are you strawberry? learning from Australian sarcasm or no, are you no, like no, actually no, no. serious? Like, I, I know we said that strawberry was down there. I, I, now that you reminded me, because I must have blocked it out because I don't want yeah. to know it exists. Strawberry is by far, by far, I think the worst flavor of any fruit. It's so bad. Strawberry? Uh, sorry, uh, uh, orange. Sorry. Orange is such orange a horrible. Chocolate? You know, uh, like orange chocolate? Okay, orange chocolate is good, but it needs chocolate <laughs> to help it, right? But the moment you get just orange on its own- I don't like too much chocolate. <laughs> orange flavor sucks, but orange chocolate though? Uh, orange chocolate's good. Damn. It's yeah. the rare combination where two flavors, if they, you know, they, they drop their differences, they can come together, make something decent. But like, orange- I hate, I hate chocolate, I hate orange. Orange chocolate- Two, two negatives, yes. two yes. negatives make a plus. It's where you should never rule out possibilities, right? I just think that orange sorbet, awful. Like orange flavored drinks, orange flavored ice cream. Oh, it's just so bad. It's just, so bad. I think, I think, I think I figured it out. Connor just has some of the most skewed taste no, like, no, of, no, no, of food no, 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 that I'm I've right. ever seen. I'm Where right. it's like you, you really like what you really like, yeah. but you really don't like what you really yeah, don't like. I just like. think that like- And you are so fucking particular about if, shit. If I went to a restaurant and all, the, all, I, all I had for dessert, no, I'm not. I, I just, I- <laughs> I would not. Uh, no, no, is he no. not? Like, Pete is someone who won't eat it. Like, if you give me an orange sorbet, I'm going to eat it, but I'm going to be begrudgingly annoyed the whole time that you gave me an orange so sorbet. So you're just a stubborn picky eater. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I will eat anything. I go to real count, you give me this shit slimy thing, I'll, I'll stomach it, and I'll be like, fine, I'll fucking eat this slimy thing that I don't want to eat, but I'll eat it. Like I, I feel really, because every deal can we've been to together, you've passed me the slimy shit immediately. Hey, if you're let's, gonna eat it, let's I'm let's give it to let's, you. let's move back for a second. My point here. being is, a picky eater is somebody who doesn't eat it. I will yeah. always eat it. Right. Yeah. Let's move back for a second. What is this? Tirade against oranges. Why? You, it's literally the vanilla of the fruit world. How no, do you hate? How no, do you hate not. oranges? It do is just, such a. It is such. It's not good because vanilla is quite mild in flavor, right? It's a very right. like light flavor. It's not intense. Orange is a very intense flavor. Do you just hate? It's so acidic. I, Wait. Okay. I, let I, me guess. Do you like orange juice? No, I hate orange. We've said this before. I hate orange juice. Do you just like? Because the thing is, oranges are so fucking refreshing. Do you no, just say refreshing like stuff? It's like it's acid. It's not fucking acid. How weak I is your it, it is, it is acid, no, no, it but tastes, so is a lot of fruit juice. Yeah. Like, you know, I feel literally like most fruit juices the, are the, acidic. Of the, of the citrus family, lemon and lime, absolute god tier. They figured it out, how to make a refreshing acidic drink. You literally drink. want to have a raw lemon versus having a raw orange? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Are you serious? Like I know, I know, lemon is like more acidic, but like the flavors that you get <laughs> in like lemonade are less acidic than you get in, say, orange juice. Like uh, orange juice is always way more acidic. Yeah, that's because lemonade is very different to lemon juice. Yeah, I know, we but don't... lemon flavored things are also nicer. I find. <sighs> Hold on. It's just, <laughs> listen, listen, I'm, I'm not, like, I'm I'm not trying to convince so, you. I'm just saying. There's, 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 I'm, there's, I'm, trying to, there's, I'm trying to wrap my head around your there's logic so, There's here. so much bullshit no, that's being no, spewed no. right now that I, I'm having a trouble processing. Like, like orange, I orange I juice is, is awful. Like it's just, a, it's just a bad drink. Like it just doesn't taste good. You're so, you are you so are, wrong. You're so wrong. I mean, you're, <laughs> Just there's there's not enough world there's not enough hats in the world to indicate how much cat that is, man. That's like I'm just trying no, to. No, no, I'm, no. I'm, there's viewers out there who are watching this who know that orange is shit, who know that sorbet is bad, who know that chocolate's too much. Yeah. Orange is like, orange is- Yeah, your alt account. <laughs> you're, you're, you're in your 10 million alt account. Orange is like, by like it's probably like one of the worst fruits. No, no. <laughs> Like orange, or, if it was truly uh, the worst okay, fruit. Also, also orange is just a miserable eating experience. Yeah. It's just terrible. What? How what are you, are you eating about? about? Are you eating the rind? Like no, what? No, it's just like a banana, fucking easy as fuck. You just get it what do done. You, did, do you know a thing? <laughs> there is a thing called a knife. <laughs> banana, no knife needed. I love that. I, wanna, you, I, I don't wanna fucking have to peel this open like a caveman. Banana, easy bro. You, you just 
fucking what? cut it into quarters. No, the banana, the banana lit- has an elegancy to it. The 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 orange you got to fucking pry it open like a caveman scrambling for his meal. You the, literally have to do that with a banana, lemon and a the, lime the, as the, well, though. I don't eat fucking lemon and limes on their own. Who you literally that? just said you would rather eat a raw lemon <laughs> than rather, a raw orange. Rather, I would never do it. There's an elegance, he says. The says, banana, you could. It's oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes. Mm, don't mind if I do. There's an elegance he says talking about the fruit literal apes eat. You know, <laughs> there's like, a reason why they eat. Yeah, they they don't want to fumble around with an orange. It just makes more sense. That literally has two IQ. Like, no, 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 no. He's just like too many steps. Also, I just think the texture of like a. I, I just think. Everything about the orange, I just dislike. Like when the texture of eating an orange, I feel like the texture- Oh no, gross. like the texture of bananas are like not good. It's way, it's way, what? it gets yeah. way too mushy. It gets way too it gets mushy. Way too mushy. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, look. Yeah, it's, look. It's, a, it's a gamble with a banana. Sometimes you gotta have the perfect texture for it to be like, yeah, that was a yeah. fucking amazing look, banana. Look, Sometimes look. a banana can be too hard. Sometimes it's just uh, a me, fucking me, pile of mush. here thinking that banana has the best texture of any fruit. No, it does when it's, when it's the you, optimal it texture. To be, it has to a be good completely banana right. is better than any fruit. Cat. No, a watermelon's no. still better. Full stop. No, no, no. no. A, a, a perfectly ripe banana is the best vegetable. Strawberry. Hands down. Strawberry. Watermelon, Strawberry hands down. Watermelon hands down. Watermelon's good. That's no, it's not enough taste. Not enough taste. Straw- <laughs> Strawberry's like the pop rocks of fruit. Excuse me? It's, okay, I fucking- wait, wait, what did you say? Huh? He said, said well, there's not enough taste in watermelon. It's, uh, 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 it's, it's, it's it's a very light flavor. It's a that's very, very like light it, flavor. It's, it's diluted. It's mostly, it's literally mostly water. Yeah, like, that's why I like, like it. Like, yeah. I will say out of all the names, like our orange is pretty good. I mean, it's, I assume the color was named after the fruit. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but watermelon, yeah, they were pretty right by calling it watermelon. Yeah, it's, yeah. that's it's why I like, yeah. I, I'm not getting clickbaited. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know exactly what I'm going in for with the watermelon. And you you have a better time I with think, an orange- I think orange. melon is better than watermelon, just because there's too much water in the watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> like, like there, is, no. there is just far too much water. How, how like, can, I, I am getting way too hydrated eating how, a watermelon. How can you say that apple juice is the worst juice? No, so how can you say that orange juice is the worst juice when apple juice exists? Yeah. That is I, quite I think, I think Apple juice is literally that piss is, water. That That is like, that is like toddler they are, water. They are like, they are like, they are like neck and neck to me. Like apple juice just, <laughs> the apple juice just wins in my mind because it's not orange, but it is just as bad. What are you? What is this orange slander? Orange. What is, is this orange far, racism, by man? By far the worst fruit. I think it's by far the what worst. Did, what fruit. did oranges ever do to you? I don't know. Just completely my entire life. Every time I've tried it, I just think this tastes like shit. Like, did you get beaten up at school no, by a kid wearing an orange shirt or something? Saying, like, right? why, why do the, you hate orange? I don't so know much? if it's like the British ancestry of scurvy and shit. Like, I would yeah. rather get scurvy than eat an orange. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> I, I rather would. I would. Scurvy challenge incoming. Let's go. <laughs> I just don't want to. I just don't want. I just don't. Okay. What, what about what about orange zest? When 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 there's a dessert or something, a fancy dessert, you uh, or like you orange you, liqueur. You're, what about you, orange liqueur? I'd rather not. If if I don't like I, again, I'd rather any other. I'd like any other uh, citrus liqueur if possible. I, I literally am trying to like process what where this hatred comes on comes from because I'm like Just okay may, maybe yeah, maybe probably. it's like the acidity I don't know and then you you go you come here and say you'd rather eat a raw lemon than fucking did, raw did orange, your father oranges. throw oranges at you when you like <laughs> <Maybe>. misbehaved <laughs> 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 it's like ah, I mean, not I, the oranges I fell over on an orange one time <laughs> oh, I just, oranges just, just taste bad. I don't. That's what I just think it's the like you ha- there has to be a worse fruit in your mind right? What's what, the worst fruit than an orange? No, in your mind, what's the worst fruit? The worst fruit, dragon fruit. Oh, it's such a cop out. What, what do you mean it's a cop out? People don't fucking eat that at any time. Like it's just a, it's such, a, about, it's such about, a niche fruit. You're talking about fruit that we can buy from fruit the, that you can get anywhere in, in like a daily life. Yeah, you can get dragon fruit no, anywhere you now. Can't. Yes, you, you can. can. You can. No, you can't. Don't. No, maybe, maybe in Australia where you Bro, have like kind of, every kind of wildlife. Life, <laughs> what kind of privileged life are you leading where you can get fucking dragon? <laughs> yeah. I'm from name Australia. One, yeah. One, yeah. <laughs> name one place in Japan where you can buy dragon fruit that's near you right now. Uh, my, literally, the supermarket in my house sells dragon fruit. Bro, what is your supermarket? Some got like fucking Whole Foods, uh, Aaron. Like, where, that's privilege right there. <laughs> that, that's actually privilege. That is a privilege indicator. Yeah, except it's like a tiny fucking corner. There's like two dragon fruits at most. Yeah, but, uh, but it's I've still never, there. I, yeah. I've never even seen dragon fruit in the store. <laughs> You're probably not looking okay, for it. Okay, so that doesn't count because that's bullshit fruit. It doesn't exist. Okay, so like a common fruit, right? Common fruit. <sighs> What's the worst fruit? The fruit that you would. You'd, when you thought about it, you're like, no, no, I'd rather not. You know, I, I'm trying to think, and I know you're trying to pull something out of us. I literally can't think of a fruit I you just don't sh- like. What a cop out. I, I, cop out. I'm, I'm sorry, I just like fruits, okay? There's gotta be a fruit. If, if I had to like pick something- Listen, Okay, this then- is, okay, no, I figured it out. This is, this is just me personally, but for me, it's grapes. What? Yeah. 
I'm not a massive fan oh, of man, grapes. Grapes are god tier oh, in my mind. What are you talking about, no, Joey? I'm not. Well, you like wine? How could you hate are, grapes? Is, how could you hate grapes? You know, the reason why grapes is so- that's like saying how could you hate bread? You like no, beer? The it's reason, like there's nothing alike. I, I have to say, grapes are the like, and this is this puts it in S tier for me. Grapes. Yeah. It's the only fruit where you can always get the perfect amount of the fruit that you want. Like you can have <laughs> as many grapes as that suits you. Always. If you want a shit ton of grapes, go to go to town. And it's also such a satisfying eating experience. Oh. I don't know. I'm just not a massive oh. fan of grapes. I'll eat grapes, but like I would rather it have I would rather cut Listen, an orange open than eat some grapes. I'm gonna say this. That's right? just me personally though. I'm just gonna say it. I'm I'm a vegetable guy all the mm. way. Mm. I think vegetables are so goddamn superior to fruit in every single way. You just hate desserts. You just I you just, just think, hate sweet I just, stuff. Yeah, I just, just like sweet stuff. Yeah. Like our vegetables like, are okay. just so much better. He hates sweet stuff if it's not vanilla. Yeah. Like if if I had to pick, gun to my head, worst fruit, even though I don't really hate it, probably apple. Like there's, there is no category- It's a cumbersome experience eating an it, apple. It's like, there is no category that apple goes in that is, that can't be beaten by another fruit. I feel I, like. I, I think it's one of the Actually, better true. I like, I like, I like green apples. I'm not huge into red apples. I don't like red. Granny, Granny Smith. I like Smith. reds as well. Granny Smith's yeah. uh, green ones. Granny Smith's green good. apples, banger. I, I, it's, I know, I really like eating apples actually, but, but it's just a lot. Like there's always a lot of apple. Yeah. It's one of the, it's actually, I think it's the most filling uh, fruit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it feels like you eat, like ate a, a fucking A380. It's, 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 so a, it's much, a whole meal. It's so much food. Like if the apple's big, especially in Japan where the apples are like fucking this big, yeah. like that's a meal. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I stand on it. I just think vegetables are the superior ones. They're more- Look, don't get me wrong. Okay. So, so also, you, also is, vegetables are better for you, just saying. Is, is that the reason why you hate sorbets? Just because you hate fucking fruit? <laughs> yeah, I, I hate fruit flavored things. So right? if there was a- so, okay. You figured it out, you just hate fruit. Okay, so if there okay. was a vegetable flavored sorbet, would you eat oh, it? Oh fuck no, that sounds awful. Why would you want that? Oh, just, just the hypothetical. No, 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 no. I, I would want. I, I just want. Okay, first of all, don't want a sorbet. I feel like the texture of it is just the worst. I, I could like. I, I think a vegetable sorbet could work. I just gelato. Like a, like a gelato and soft serve and normal ice cream all the way. But like sometimes you. Sometimes must, it's too is, heavy. There are sometimes. There is never an occasion where I will say no. There, no. there are, <laughs> there are some times where you've had such a fucking filling heavy well, the, main course. But you still want something just to like take the edge off. That. Because let's be and real, that's that's whole, that, is let's, let's be real. That whole saying of like, oh, dessert is another stomach is bullshit. No, 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 no. It's, not, it's actually not. It's proved that your stuff. You can actually make more room for dessert because the way that I it, can't. The way that it works with sweet and salty yeah. is that you can trick your brain into thinking that there's there's more room than there is. I'm sure. That's at why the, you overeat. I'm when sure you have at dessert. the time. Yeah, but I know for a fact I stop myself from doing it because I know I'm going to be sick afterwards. Like, there's been a lot of studies on this. You you can right. actually make way more room when you're when you have something sweet. Um, right. Oh no, so that's I, why, yeah. I do notice well that's just variety of meals. Yeah, if, yeah, you, exactly, yeah. if you have one of like the same thing but, over and over, you can eat you can you're yeah. gonna eat less but, of but it. But it's it's emphasized when you go for something savory to something really sweet. Mm. Uh just because of how I don't know how, like how chocolate, stupid for brains work. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um so but yeah but I, the great thing about ice cream is the moment you eat it, it yeah. becomes a liquid. So it, It'll definitely fit in there. It'll so does room. sorbet. It'll make room. It'll make so room. In fact, in fact, in fact, sorbet is more about? liquidy. Wait, no, no, you're putting your argument on me. I never said that it's too heavy. You're, right. you're, you're, you just put your fucking argument onto my okay. ice cream love. I no, never no, no, said no. ice cream was too heavy. I never said sorbet was too heavy. No, well, we're no, arguing sometimes we're, ice cream is too heavy. You know, so you have sorbet. It's not, it can't be too heavy because it'll always fit in your fucking stomach. That's not the point. The point is the feeling of it, right? Oh. Yeah. And cream is way heavier, it's way heavier than fruit juice. No, I agree. It I agree. is. I agree. If I ate the same amount of ice cream versus the same amount of sorbet, I would feel more sick with the ice cream than the sorbet. Like like the exact the exact same for the exact same reason why you can't eat too much chocolate ice cream versus too much vanilla ice cream is because vanilla ice cream feels lighter than the chocolate. Well, right? I mean, it's just, it's not so much that it's more, it just feels more, I don't know why it just makes you feel sick immediately. I don't, know I don't even know what we're arguing about anymore. To be honest. I'm trying to argue, understand there's his- There's too many arguments happening at the same time. It's just, this is just, there's so many shit takes we that just, has been just been said in like a 10 minute well, we period. Just turned, we just turned preferences into like solid set in stone takes that must be followed. Like yeah, because you're making have, it that no, way. No, I'm just saying my opinion. And then you guys are like, Connor has an opinion? What? That's it, that's it. I just said, I think oranges are dog shit, which they are. Chocolate as a flavor kind of sucks. Everyone knows that vanilla is the best. Uh, well, it. we can. We have the right to uh, fucking argue your shitty opinion. <laughs> you, can, you, you know, Yo, but, we're, but we're I'm not, not saying I, that this is like, you know, 100%, that's what it has to be. 
All right. I am is calling you a clown. And uh, I, I, think, I think that's fair. I, I think, think that's you, fair. Look, you're, 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 you're entitled yeah. to your opinion, but you definitely said the most unpopular opinion. Well, we don't know that. Because <laughs> we, we've had takes before where I've said it and you guys are like, no, you're, you're dumb as fuck. And then the, all the comments are like, nah, Connor's right. Come on, this is the trash takes audience. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, the whole it's the whole keyboard thing all over again. I was completely in the right there, and I was I was un, unjustified, and I was I was uh, reprimanded for no reason, and I was completely in the right with the keyboard argument. God forbid you're correct sometimes. <laughs> 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 I've, I'm, I, this is Gaslight Central. I'm always getting Gaslight here on Trash Taste. It's very fun. I just can't believe you hate oranges. I've never met a person hate oranges. No, I mean, you've never asked. The, the only person- Are you asking? The, you're assuming. No, you're the asking only, but people. the only person I know who doesn't like oranges is someone who's like allergic to oranges. What? No, 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 no. There's a lot of people out there who don't like orange. It, it tastes bad. <sighs> I guess. You all, you, I'm sure in the comment section, we'll meet a lot of people. A lot of fellow like-minded orange It's haters. not someone I want to be friends with, that's for sure. What, what if someone in your family doesn't like orange? What if you don't know? I'll fucking clown on them for the rest of my life. <laughs> what if Aki just turns around and he's like, I don't actually- I just can't. Right. I, just I will can't. absolutely clown her for it. I just can't imagine a world where you just- I can't imagine what we don't eat your fucking crusts. <laughs> plenty of people don't eat that crust. Actually, plenty of people don't eat that crust. Well, we're going to bring, yeah, bring past Listen, arguments we already, don't, don't pretend like this is where you draw the line. This is, oh no, everything else goes well, out no, the I'm window because oranges, yeah. now that's where I'm like, that, I'm, that, I'm, that, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying I, that. I, I'm not, I think we can all agree that we are all clowns, but today yeah. we get to clown on no, this no, fucking yeah, yeah. clown take. We've all, we're all guilty of having a couple of opinions added to the shit list, but you just added another <laughs> Trail to yours. We'll see. We'll just, see. We'll see. We'll see all the view. I'm pretty confident there'll be a lot of fellow <laughs> orange haters out there. I guess let us know in the comments if you're an orange hater or an orange lover or Fanta you're somewhere in between. Fanta sucks. Fanta sucks. It's the worst. Oh no, Fanta soda. sucks. Don't get me just wrong. Just tastes like shit. No, orange Fanta sucks. Like what world would you pick Fanta over like Yeah, but Coke? orange Fanta doesn't taste anything like orange. No. It's, it's, orange, it's, orange soda doesn't taste like orange. A little too yeah. much like orange for my taste. No, it's got it's like it's, like orange Fanta sucks because it's artificial orange taste. Yeah. If something actually tastes, it's the same reason why I hate every art. It's the same reason why I hate strawberry ice cream yeah. and other artificial tasting fruits. Uh, it's uh, fruit flavors. It's because it we'll doesn't see. actually taste like the fucking fruit. We'll see what the comments say. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> He's like running to the comments, we'll like see. guys, help me. You guys can't right? back I just, me up, I right? just can't believe. I just like I'm. Yeah, it's like- I'm just more shocked that you have such a strong opinion towards fucking oranges. They just suck. I just- uh, you'll, I, catch, I can, you'll catch me fucking okay, dead okay. eating an orange. No, I can understand. <laughs> I can understand if your opinion was, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not really like a fan of oranges, um, but like I'd ne I've never seen someone so vehemently- Despise an orange, yeah. Spite oranges They just before. suck. They just fucking suck. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, this is enough fruit slander before I- I have an building. aneurysm. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna have a nice orange flavored Fuck dessert. You. Yeah. you know what I love? You know what? Orange. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go home. Actually, go to you, my know, you know what I actually love? Orange. I'm what? gonna go to my local I supermarket. I'm gonna buy a couple of oranges. I'm gonna buy dragon fruit and I'm gonna have a good time. Actually, do you know what I fucking like? Now it's just the two of us. You know what actually slaps? Mm. Orange jelly. Have you ever had orange jelly? Yes. Oh my God. That's like one of the most refreshing desserts. Oh, that is like double nightmare for Connor. He doesn't Holy like jelly shit. or oranges. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at all these patrons though. Check them out. I wonder how many of them are orange lovers. How many of them are orange haters? I fucking love, is it like one of the best feelings in the morning is coming, like coming downstairs and just it's having coming. an orange. You're gonna yeah, just of stop course, there. it's just coming, it's just coming. <laughs> Coming, coming up, coming downstairs, and having like like a nice, refreshing orange juice to go this with your guy breakfast. Fucking eats oranges. I know they're great. They're really good for you as well. I love oranges. What's yeah. I, I've never met a man hate oranges before today, but uh, thank yeah. you very much to your to the patrons. Hey, if you'd like to join on Patreon, then make sure to go over to our Patreon, patreoncom slash taste. Also follow us on Twitter. Send us your memes on the subreddit. If you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. We're gonna see a lot of orange memes, so uh, redditors enjoy those. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I guess Connor's fucked off now. Uh, I'm gonna go eat some oranges with my boy right here. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.